Are we live? I think we are live. Okay, cool. We are live. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, a Wednesday edition, where we look back at some games we played, maybe get some high scores, and maybe catch up on maybe new versions, which is what we're going to be doing today. Cool. Um, so I'm James, and this is... I'm Erilyn. Yep, he's new here. <laughs> <laughs> First time. Um, so we have three games today. We have what was formerly known as Doodle Jump. Okay, cool. You may or may not have heard of Doodle Jump. It was, um, it got really big on, like, tablets and phones. It's a little jumping platformy game. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and it just recently got renamed, like, yesterday, <laughs> or the day before, to Amoeba Jump. And nobody's seen this version. Oh, it's cool. It's an exclusive tonight oh, to man, the show. I feel honored. I feel so honored. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, hello, Arena Foot. Hello, Benjamin Rivers, who is uh, somebody from uh, a ways back. I know Benjamin Rivers. Yes, Vectrex t-shirt. Wow. You're the winner. He, he correctly he, guessed is what that my a, logo does is. He, what does he get? Does he get a prize or anything? He gets or internet just... points. Oh, that's Internet cool. bucks. Okay, cool. I don't know what the conversion to dollars is. But it's is. something. That's good. Uh, five internet bucks. How about that? Yeah. It's a good prize. <laughs> <laughs> um, and someone is here. And Dan, AVC, <laughs> is here. Hello, Dan. Hey, man. So, and, and no, how would you say that? Suin... Swender? Swender? Uh, uh, Sunder? No. S maybe. Swinder. 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 This is waving. Hi. Swinder. <laughs> maybe you can phonetically spell it out for us. Um, we also have Unreal Tournament 2600. Really? <laughs> yes. Okay, I, this is something I do know <laughs> Unreal Tournament. <laughs> Excellent. Good. <laughs> because I was getting bitched out for not <laughs> knowing Unreal Tournament. Because there's weapons in it that have been transferred transferred over the 2600 version. Oh my god, okay. And I don't know the weapons. And they're like, oh, you don't know what you're doing. I played a ton of Unreal Tournament. I played <sighs> oh, a thank goodness. Like, I have the right person 2004, here. I did the original. I played on PlayStation. And oh, you know, good. Me and my friends good. used to play it in like the, the library during oh. during middle school. Doing we, lands. Yeah, when, yeah. We, when everyone else was dancing and awkwardly trying to pick up <laughs> girls, we were like, we're going to play Unreal Tournament. Just like, forget all that. <laughs> We'll stick with the computers. Yeah, that's what we did. So I do. Unfortunately, I know it very well. <laughs> oh, fortunate for tonight. Su uh, eh, nader. Suinator. Suinator. That's, Su a, that's a great name. That works, yeah. It's like Terminator, except Suinator. Yeah. Yeah, good. And the third game is an arcade conversion okay. called Mappy. Um, it's about a police mouse, and he's pretty much... What what are they what ha, what's that called when you just take cash from criminals in the U.S. and Canada oh. and and you don't even arrest them and you just take it from them and I've I've no idea but <laughs> that's people it, always Batmaning them <laughs> pretty much like this this mouse is not arresting the the enemy is the cats and and you're going to their house and you're taking all their loot I don't know if you're actually surrendering it back to the police department. Are you just pocketing he's, it? He's just taking it and not even arresting the cats in the house. So that's what Mappy is. We'll get to that. That's that sounds the third great. Game. And we also, ha for Mappy, we have an exclusive new build of that as well. So first first time anybody's seen it here. Um, oh, so man. That we get fun. a Mappy is great. Is We already have a good review of Mappy. Dropping frames? Oh, no. We should not be dropping frames. CPU is good. Actually, let me turn off some stuff here. Cool, I'm going to drink my water. Okay. Uh, I've actually never played the Atari 2600, I have to admit. Oh, but it's just, okay. It's, be, it's because it was uh, my first game console was an NES. Um, but I'm I'm young. I'm 26. So I was like, this was right. That makes sense. I think my first like 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 new console that I bought was N64. So mm. that that I'm I'm one of these. I get, I'm not a millennial, I guess, but yes. I'm very close to a millennial. So that makes sense. Is... One second. People are complaining. Okay. As long as they can hear us, that's good. Uh, I don't know why. It looks all good on this end, but there is a red. Ooh, bad kilobits per second. Okay, that's not okay, good. I'm going to stop the stream and start it again. Uh, there we go. We're in the yellow. No, we're in the red. What is happening? Oh, I think... No, that's all done. Okay. 
Whew, that's not good. Nope. Yellow, green. Orange. <laughs> orange? <laughs> I don't know what orange is. I guess it's closer to red. Green. Okay. Are we happy again? Happy? So, a bit better. Happy? Get some hopefully. Okay. Let us know. Internet, please. Internet points. Oh, okay, good. Okay, uh, are we good again? Happy? Let me just boot it up on this. Oh, working okay, now. Working now. Okay, okay, that's, that's good. News. Thanks, yeah. thanks, Arena. I've never actually looked at that because it's always been green. Oh, and Dan says we're good too. So good. We're good. Because yesterday I was having terrible internet. Like drops yeah. out for 10, 20 minutes. Ugh. Which is not good for live things. No, not good. Very bad for live things. Okay, good. We're we're much better. Yeah, it was it was bad. Yeah. Oh, 20, 20 seconds. Guy. Chat room delay. That's why I'm like, please tell me. <laughs> tell me. Okay, and um, so on the weekend, I was at the Vancouver Retro Video Gaming Expo. Yeah. Very long name. Um, and I got some pickups, got bought some stuff. Nothing to do with homebrew, because that's all we do on this show yeah. is homebrew. But because, you know, you don't... It's a smaller convention. Yeah. There's not a lot of homebrew stuff. It's mostly Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and kind of dwindles out and branches out from there. So I picked up some Nintendo games, yeah. some Super Nintendo games. What else did I get? Couldn't find any Atari. I, I have most of the common Atari stuff. And yeah, I feel you've got a great collection, which it's, helps. It's extensive and mostly hidden, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's very big. Someday you have um, to pan the camera up so they can see. Yeah, the... I'll do a tour of the room one day. Uh, what did I get here? But yeah, I'm super jealous of this, <laughs> of this room in it's general. It's out of control. It's insane. Um, for Super Nintendo, I got Dino City, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, Contra 3, Gun Force, uh, for NES, Spelunker, wow. Akari 3, Ice Climber, 5 Screw, for those people who know what that means, and Bomberman 2, which is what I spent a lot of money on. Yeah, I only That's know Contra and Bomberman. That's, yeah. Those are the, but I think the, uh, those are probably the more popular ones. Yeah, or it might have just been those are the ones that the NES that ones I that had. Ones that have pulled over and yeah. big names to them. Yeah. But, um, oh, I also got this, which uh, will help us in our gaming. Oh, sick. Okay. Because before, what I had was just this, the Genesis yeah, controller, yeah. which is really nice for um, some games. Like platformers, this is really good on. Um, but this is also very good on platformers, an arcade joystick. Wow. So that will help us a lot, especially with like I feel like shooters. Unreal, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be critical. So yeah, I contacted the Unreal guy, uh, the programmer today, mm -hmm. um, MLDB. And he said, oh my God, you should have contacted me earlier because his next work in progress supports the two buttons on the Genesis controller, yeah. because I don't know if you know this, Atari 2600 only had one button. <laughs> yeah, so it's very limited in what you can do, but there's like kind of a hack um, where it supports two buttons on the Genesis controller, wow. so it opens up a whole new world. Oh, hell yeah. So like I wish I... like 100% more buttons. <laughs> yeah, and he's in Europe, so he had to go to bed. Um, so he couldn't... But he'll see it tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, he'll see it tomorrow, but I was hoping that I would get the new build so that we could play oh, the, awesome. the two-button version. But we do have a newer version than what we played on the show before. Um, my big pickup from the show was actually this, which is a twin Famicom. Yeah. Um, for the people out there who don't know what this is, um, Famicom is the equivalent of the nes in japan yeah um but what makes this a twin famicom is this on the front i don't know if anybody out there knows that the famicom had a a floppy disk drive attachment that you could add on to it um which is pretty cool because they had these um stands that you could go to the stores like you know, a grocery store or something, and they had this vending machine outside of it where you would either bring your own blank discs or they would spit out a disc and you could write a game to it. And you could go home, play it, come back, get another game, and it would be like a USB stick equivalent today yeah. of just getting another game, paying a couple dollars, 
and getting a new game and you pop it in the floppy drive. That's amazing. It is. It's so awesome. Um, and this combines both of them together. So you have the cartridge up there and the floppies down there. Super happy with this. I've been looking yeah. for one forever and I got this for a really good deal because I didn't get the power adapter with it. Oh, but man. I can get that later. Yeah, absolutely. And, and there's like multi-power adapters. And even if I did get it, I'd still have to get another one because this is Japanese oh, and man. it asks for a very specific voltage. It takes 100 volts in at 60, which is close to North America, but ours is like 110. And, uh, and sometimes you don't want to mess with that. I was working at a camera rental store and yeah. I, I didn't think it was like, whatever, these cables are fine. And I just plugged a completely wrong one oh, into, no. and I ruined so many like uh, like power supplies by just jamming the wrong things in. So from that point forward, I was like, I'm going to Google before I start jamming DC. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. And I, I, was, I was like 19, so it was not, I, yeah. I don't blame it on my youth, but, but yeah, I can understand. Yeah, because you know, 19, you're not worldly you don't know <laughs> plugs in other countries um actually i don't know if i told you this story when i was filming in europe um i brought my lights with me not these lights but yeah. older lights um and the first time we used the lights we plugged them in because the plugs are similar in some of the countries there and they they went they made a high-pitched noise <laughs> and then Bang, 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 bang. All burnt out first day. Oh my God. Of a three week filming trip in Europe. It's terrible. Because the voltages are totally different. Um, and we would have had to get a, a more expensive converter. Yeah. A bunch of them. Um, because the lights I got were very specific to North America. Like they were pegged at 60 hertz. Yeah. And 110 volts. Not good lights where it's like 100 to 240 volts where it handles everything and 50 to 60 hertz yeah it was bad news <laughs> so not only were the lights burnt out we had to carry them for three weeks oh, dead lights god. everywhere oh my god i would have just ditched them but at that point they're still like worth something <laughs> they are like, they oh. were worth something so that's why we didn't ditch them um so enough stories I know why you're all here. <laughs> you want to watch the goodness? So, the first game we're going to play today is... It says Doodle Jump, but uh, it's not Doodle Jump. It is... Amoeba Jump. And this oh. is uh, on the 26th, which is yesterday. So, brand new build. Oh my and, god, okay. And I'll, I'll give you some... Uh, quick instructions. I always, I always give the the first game to the oh, thank to you. the guest. Um, so there's no button. Okay. It's just left and right. That's the only control. That's all we're doing. Okay. Um, there's three types of platforms. Um, can I jump through platforms? Yes, you can okay. jump up through platforms. Okay. Um, there's yellow platforms, which you're jumping on, which are just normal platforms. There are white platforms, which you can jump on once. And then, and then and they then disappear. Done. Okay, cool. So, and then there is moving platforms, and they're blue, which are pretty obvious. Just just hit them. Try and hit them. And then there's one more thing in this in this game. He's going to add a lot more, because this okay, is just an cool. early build. Um, there's springs, which jump you up about a screen and a half and give you extra points too, like 100 okay, or 150. I'm not but then it's sure. a risk, obviously. Cause... It's a tiny bit of a risk because you're, you have to find a landing point when you're jumping a, a screen and a half. Um, so you don't really know where to land as easily. So. Okay, cool. Um, I, you're going to crush me at this, by the way. I will, yes. <laughs> but that's, that's totally fine. It's totally fine. Um, or what if I'm a secret, what is this, amoeba jump shark? What have I been practicing for the yeah, last... Yeah, at home, <laughs> got your emulator on your I, computer. I, I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the record right now, I think, is 33,000. 33,000. My record is 11,000. Some guy just crushed me. Wow. Okay. Crushed me. I had the world record. <laughs> for a while. And then <laughs> for he like tripled a day. <laughs> Yeah. And he's like, ah, I can beat that. Okay. I'm going to... Oh. 
Swinder, in the last last version, Spring gives 99 points plus the jump, jump height. height. Oh, oh man, okay. thanks, dude. So 100. 99. Okay, let's, I'm gonna... Go for it, yep. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, at home. Jesus, can I do one oh, more? Oh, yeah, this, so, this okay, is a cool. game where you can play a okay, bunch cool. and then we... And I reset, okay. Yeah, button to reset. Because I'm like, even just the... It takes a while to understand how far the... The movement oh, there's a spring. To, okay. To, to the left and right. Yeah, so about about a screen and a quarter, I guess. And in okay, I'm feeling like in general it's advantageous to uh, spring oh, it. Yeah, and also the spring is every every screen. Like if you hit oh, and the white ones. Oh, okay, it's only <laughs> once. Yeah, once on the white one. Okay, cool. And if you hit a spring, there's gonna be a spring exactly to hit at the bottom. So Feels watch like... that. Oh, okay. There's the spring at the bottom. Oh, see? I see. So, oh, God. Oh. There's always another spring ready for you. So, it's in, not that easy to get them, though. So, in theory, I could speed run this with You my... could. <laughs> you could. It, I we wanted to add an extra layer. Oh, I'm seeing what you mean. Yeah. Okay. I have done a pretty good run like that. So, you're, you're fine. <laughs> I see what you mean. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so you can do a speed run of it. Here's a white one. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, okay. I was going for I it. I think that would be a really good competition. Once speed running this, speed yeah. Running this, and you would have to. It would just oh, okay. Some of them are really hard because there's like a platform right above yeah. the spring. I'm feeling like you'd have to. You got to start anticipating where they're going. It's cool. It's also so satisfying when you spring it. Oh my it's god, so much it's better. the best. The I'm, I'm feeling so like the good. spring is way. Oh, okay. So there, <laughs> and I was like, this feels like um. Uh, oh, see, I was wanting to spring. <laughs> okay, good. Yes, life. Yep. Life is looking good. I think I did like ten springs in I... a row once. And oh my god, so good. I was at three thousand. I think that was my best one. Oh, that's pretty good. That's better than nothing. Okay. Yes, springs. <laughs> oh god. You can move about three quarters of a screen across. Really? If, you cr if, you if just I just crank hold it. Hold it. Yeah. If you crank it. Swinder says, uh, I'll post another picture on AA, but I beat that old score by a factor of two. I'm the same person you mentioned. <laughs> is this is this the world that's, record holder? That's the dude. Of this game? That's, yeah, he's oh, in the chat. Man. So he's watching. He's is watching it, us. I, the world record player of this <laughs> game is watching me. Yeah, but he says he beat it by a factor of two. So he's up at 60,000 oh, now. Oh, my God. Because around right there, around yeah. 3,000 when the blues come in. It doesn't actually get any harder. Really? Okay. So at that point, it's just a matter it's, of it's a mind, a mind control kind of thing. At that point, it feels harder because your score is so high, but it doesn't get any. Yeah, harder. Yeah, you almost want to not look at the score. Yes, oh, that's lucky business, right Pretty there. Pretty much, you don't want to look at the score. Oh, and I forgot to mention one more thing. Okay. The screen does wrap around, oh, so you can sick. go over to the right and go over back to the left. If you need to do that, because sometimes it gets really sparse. That makes complete sense as we start to get... Oh, yeah. see, like, there's... Oh, I see. So you said this is... Okay, I'm... Oh, oh okay, okay. It's getting tense, man. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't... Re it gets random, like, but it doesn't seem to get harder. I don't think he's built any, like, leveling up yet past the blue in terms of, like, spacing them out... Or more. Okay, we're at personal best territory. I know yeah. this isn't significant to anybody but me. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, oh, that's pretty good for like your sixth oh, game. Okay. Okay, okay, here, okay. You, go. here you, go. you go. Time for the the real player to step in. But thirty six hundred, man. That's that's, that's where good. we're at. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, white Let's make platforms. a fires like. Yeah, there's no buttons in this game, so that doesn't matter. Make a... I don't know how that works. I've never played with this controller, so I may suck right away, but oh, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's... It's, it's very soft. It's it takes, very nice. It takes a bit ah. of... <laughs> oh. That's where the screen wrap is good. Yeah, so that's how it works. It's just plain old normal screen wrap. Yeah, it's... I it's definitely i mean this is going to sound again very millennial but it's <laughs> the the controller does not feel like a modern controller like an xbox or a playstation or something no. where you have so much finesse like that's what it's, it's like getting used to this control is so different <sighs> terrible i played a lot of games like this that are on like the iphone yeah you, but, like, but this is a lot cooler the atari games for oh my God, cats in the closet <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Get out of the closet, cat. And that's not a euphemism. That's <laughs> no. literally the cat is in, in the, the closet. closet. <laughs> yeah, it's a code word for something. It's... <laughs> it's a... Military code word. Get oh, out. dude, the springs are the best. They are super. Oh my god. Yeah, this controller is. Um, it's a different. Messing with me. It's a I'm so used to the short amount of play. Like this has a wide throw. To yeah. The joystick. I think probably if you practiced with it, I imagine it would be better. But it would just be getting used to it. Quite possibly. I always say it's like playing the piano, and then all of a sudden the B key is the C key, and you're like, Whoa. oh. Because yeah. when you switch something up and you're used to it, it's so automatic. Yes. And that's part of the challenge. Although now you're crushing it. Oh. oh. Sometimes it's too risky, though. Yeah. You're that's trying the thing. for the for the fun of. Yeah, but definitely speedrun element of this is makes so much sense. That's I, that's a very my favorite thing about it is the fact that you can get the springs on each jump. I hope he doesn't change that, but I think it seems very deliberate because it wasn't like that in the first builds. Yeah. What what were what are some of the changes from the first builds? Um, before it was all yellow, so there was no whites. Okay, that's that's definitely that's an big, improvement. Yeah, big improvement. Um, and there's no blues, right? So. One more. I like the RNG element of it too, where just you know you just don't know what you're gonna get either. Yes. And, um, yeah, I do like that a lot. Like it can be, a, it's never impossible. Like there's you're never put into a position where you can't keep going. But sometimes you get lucky. Like you can get yeah. some really lucky springs. Like a couple times I was like, oh, I don't even need to move. <laughs> it's yeah, you just, just keep boing, going boing. up. Oh. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you just keep going up, up, okay. up, especially when they're in the yeah. center. I don't know. I, okay, I, I gotta, I gotta focus. I'm tempted to move back to the Genesis controller. You can try it, man. Because if you're I so will. used to it, because for me it's no different. Because I've never done it, so it's like I'll learn one or the other. Yeah. Because I've been playing on. Yeah, I've been playing all the games on the Genesis controller pretty much. I need to white it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no. Okay. Yeah, white platforms at 1K, blues at 2K. Okay. And I have a. Set. That's the man to ask, or he woman. Is. He, yeah, <laughs> yep, person to ask. I don't want to. I don't want to gender neutral pronouns. This <laughs> That's is Canada. Right. This is <laughs> That's right. <laughs> It's like, uh, what are they? Z? Z. That's that's Z to ask. Yeah. Or we should just say that's <laughs> who to ask. <laughs> yeah, it's who to ask. Or whom? I don't know. Whom? I don't know. I've never learned that completely. Who or whom? Okay. I've, I've read the rules and then I'm like, okay, I get it. And then it's, no, it's gone out of my head. Oh, life. see. I, I was... guess you could trap yourself if you bounce on a couple whites and then don't allow for any movements, but you'd have to do it to yourself and not, it oh. wouldn't do it to you. Oh, see, I feel like, oh my God, okay. I feel like I had they, some serious. They do go by they and them. Okay, good. There we go. Okay, great. So we were uh, thinking the right way. I usually try and do that unless I know the person Yeah. on the internet. I call everyone dude, which is. <laughs> that works. <laughs> which Just works. dude across the Even board. Even girlfriends will be like, hey dude. <laughs> hey dude. <laughs> but I don't know, I don't know if that's the really smart way to live life. I can... uh, maybe. Oh, God. I guess you'll find out pretty quick. <laughs> Each person you call dude, what kind of face reaction they give. Uh, okay, springs. See, this is so, okay. When I get the springs going, life is good. Yep. Spring You can get time. really tricky with springs like that. And if you can slide down and then move over at the last second to get in on the spring when there's a like that where you just kind of slide in i wonder if later it's just exclusively white squares potentially or like potentially when uh i guess when he adds it adds more to it i, I think there's more whites after like 3000 but that could just be my perception Your of things. Feeling. Yeah, because there's quite a few whites right now. Ah! I mean, you're just over two thousand. One more. One more, and then I'll do. It. <laughs> I was, I it was so impulsive. I'm like, I'm just gonna do another. Okay. This is one of those ah, games. See, there you go. Where it's like, just one more, just one more. Yeah. Just one more. I'm gonna switch out the controller. Okay, cool. So we can see the real. <laughs> yeah. I'll try the other one too. That'll be cool. Yeah. See the difference. So I think. Uh, a lot of Atari games are very much like what phone games are. I'm, no I'm noticing that. I Because back then it was a simple screen, small screen, small televisions, right? And small graphics. Um, 
and that's what phones are. They, they're they smaller, so they have to um, accommodate... See, a slide in like that. Yeah. <laughs> accommodate bigger, bigger, chunkier graphics. Ugh. Yeah, all whites would be really cool. Or it would be cool if you went in yes. phases, like after a certain point uh, is all blues, all and then blue. a port, certain point is all mm, yellow. That'd be amazing. Yep, that would work. And then, because it's, and you'd almost have like, I don't know, between certain points, you'd be like, I'm past the white phase, I'm into the blue phase. But then yes. always, always leave us a spring, if you're listening. <laughs> yes, <please. laughs> always leave us a spring. At least one spring at every spot. That but might it, be too easy with all blues. That's a good point. Around with, but eh, you can only try. Oh, I got a good run there. Um, but there's been like a lot of suggestions of what to add. Yeah. Like enemies. and I mean, this is based off of uh, Doodle Jump, which is... Whoa, whoa. Oh, because uh, Doodle Jump, is that an iPhone game? Yes. I feel actually, like I have played Doodle Jump. It's been around for a long it, it, time. I, I feel dumb for not <laughs> realizing that. It's like the 90th time I said Doodle <laughs> Jump. I'm like, oh, yeah. I've... The, and then he made it into Poodle Jump, which is a dog, just temporarily. Also, you're past my my personal best first try with the, <laughs> with the Genesis well, second controller. try. <laughs> Still getting used to it, obviously. And, oh, wow. I wouldn't get too excited until I get to, like, ah, uh, see. Terrible. I jinxed it for you. <laughs> but I did do, um... Like I said, eleven thousand live oh. on the show. Damn it! And then, and then our our friend over here kicked some butt. Yes, six crushed it. It's mind over matter at a. After you make it to two thousand, it's it's all the same. Yeah, it's just a matter of keeping your head in the game. Yep, and just playing it safe. Not getting too fancy, right? Getting all the springs I got. Yeah, to but there is a the there's a rhythm to it too, though. You know, it's like there's yes. almost a feeling too if you start repeating your jumps and stuff. Because it is it is a, a jumping game, so there's a definite pattern to the movement and the speed of the screen movement. Like it only goes in little bits at a time unless you get a spring. Yeah, because and it's also like that mental thing as well. Like in pool, you know, if you get a rhythm going and you're sinking balls, it's yes. But then if you break it and you start overthinking your shots, Oof. you're done. Yeah, I think I've described that in the show before, where at the beginning you're not super good, and then you get into the rhythm, and then you start overthinking the game, and then you get worse. <laughs> yeah. And then you have to stop because you're not getting any better at that point. It's a kind of a downhill. And I think like with anything in your brain, it's like you want to, if things can feel automatic, that's good. But that's yes. how you screw yourself because then all of a sudden you're like, oh. <laughs> okay, there okay. you go. Let me try it with this controller. Let's yeah, see. I think it's better. ArenaFoot says, uh, oh, no, let's go back a bit. Ooh, uh, s s how did you say, Suinder? Oh, we already forgot. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Uh... Oh, this is a little, this is feels... Suinator. That's right. Suinator. Think... Um, all white would be a nice challenge. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that would be a really good one. Just disappearing platforms. You could only jump on them once. That would be really challenging. Because you have to think. Go, go, go. There's no rest. Because in this one, if you hit a yellow, you can just sit there for an hour and go and have dinner or something. But all white is like, nope, this is a non-stopping zone. I think it'd be cool to have areas that are like. Definitely, he's got to program an all white area. He's got to. And then like an all blue area would be cool. Yes, all moving, <laughs> nightmare Come scenario. On. Oh, I was literally—I just thought personal best is close, and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> is so not close. that is not what you think about. Oh, no, yes, personal best. Okay. Yeah, there you go into the fours. I just got some good springs. Oh yeah. That's what happened with my my big run. It was a bunch of good springs in a row. Okay. We're doing this. We're doing this. Yes, yeah. okay. And the springs so, give you the big points too, so. Oh, I guess oh that's that is that's part of the tactic up. as well. Yep. All right. Oh, lucky, Didn't even have to move. lucky. Yes, okay. No. Oh. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yep, 59. Okay, that's 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 really that's good. personal best category right yep. there. Um, Arena Foot says I started writing up Poodle Jump for an upcoming volume of my book. Now I have to do now I have to do a rewrite for Amoeba. What's your book? Tell us about your book. 
Um, do you mean do you mean book is in book. his book? But, 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 but this is his first book actually. His book. The Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion Volume oh, One no. just came out. Those are the people. Is that? Oh, let me move it over here actually. It's pretty small, but yeah, it's all homebrew games. You can just, um, you can just add a bracket maybe. It yeah. Started as. But um, oh yes, because um, I sa oh. I said in the um, the news that I posted that I have a very exciting special announcement about one of these games. Oh. And this is the game I have the announcement for. Um, Thanks so, for writing a book, Arena. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no problem for the plug. Good book. Um, I'm almost done the video review of it, so hang tight. I know somebody already came out with a video review, but okay. um, more the merrier. Um, so this is the final name for the for the game, if you are wondering. Um, and the the game is by uh, Dianoid. And what he said, I was talking with him today, and he said, I just signed a contract with Hyperkin about an hour ago, so you can mention that it will be pre-installed on the Retron 77, together with other homebrew games. Uh, Andrew from Hyperkin said, my game will be included in the next batch of systems, so I don't think it'll be available on the first basic run of the systems. And he'll be watching this show uh, tomorrow because he is in Europe and it's sleepy time for them. Um, so anybody who has ordered a Retron 77, which I have, um, if you ordered it in the pre-orders, you may not get um, this game with it. Hopefully we will. Um, um, so I'm very looking forward to that. And congratulations to Dianoid um, for being able to be part of the Retron 77, and I just read, I think it was yesterday, that they are open, I, I don't know if you heard of, I'm probably updating news you don't even know about, but the Retron 77 was limited to 18 games being loaded off the SD card, which was absolutely ridiculous. Um, they have opened it up to a lot more, oh, because... <laughs> Gonna have to wrap around. Oh god! Okay, <laughs> thanks, dude. Oh, okay, this is. Oh, oh my god! First of the best though, six thousand seven hundred. That is good. I've never. You can go for another one. I'll okay, keep cool. reading. Um. Yeah, it was limited to eighteen, but they oh. had so many games they want to include on the Retron, and the homebrew scene was make. I guess kicking up a bit of a fuss about the limitations of only having eighteen games to be able to load up off of. An SD card, which I thought was also a bit silly. Um, they didn't say how many, but I'm hoping it's, you know, un either unlimited or like 256 or some weird, you know, power of two. Um, and I think that would be decent. Or make it folders, or just make it unlimited. There's no, there's no reason not to make it unlimited. Um, oh, I don't have the notes here about the changes let me bring it up on my computer here because he did obviously change some stuff up on the on this game the amoeba jump oh yeah springs are where it's at oh, springs yeah. are where it's at that is for sure oh my god okay uh, i was i gambled here we go changes in amoeba jump uh, the am animated amoeba, of course. I think in the U.S. you call it um, amoeba. Oh, how do they say it in Europe? Amobia. 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 Amoeba. I don't know. He's oh, he's saying that people in North America say it differently. Amoeba. I don't know. Anybody else out there? Europeans probably asleep. Uh, know how other countries pronounce amoeba? Yeah, it's, it's. I know the British usually have some different ways to say things. And they'll say it beautifully in their accent yes. as well. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Good, yes. Great accent. Oh, springs. Um, oh. When new platforms scroll in from the top, they are visible right away. Oh. Not sure if you noticed, but in older versions, the first four scan lines below the score were always empty. Oh, no, I did not notice that. So that is a good um, addition. 
some more screen real estate on the top and bottom. Um, fix the small glitch in the score display for every thousand points uh, scored. Glitch was only visible in slow motion for a millise few milliseconds, um, but I still noticed it. Okay. Well, there we go. So there are the changes. Very subtle ones, obviously. The uh, Do you turn. want to give it a go? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> You've been, I've been stealing it. Obviously, the graphics are the biggest update. Um, he's, I, like the, I like the new graphics. I think some people were like, oh, I'm not a big fan of dogs. Somebody mentioned that. Um, so he probably was like, oh, let's make some like new character rather than like a, a normal thing. Like a kind of a mascotty, mascotty type character. So I think the amoeba fits that bill pretty good. And I like his little mouth, mouth open when he uh, does the spring. Yeah, it's pretty. I like the character a lot. Yeah, it's very colorful. Really good. The dog one was very cute. I hope he builds in like an option to play the dog. Like just keep that graphic in. Um, it's ears. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, so sparse for opening. Wow, that's a sparse opening screen. Um, the dog's ears went up in the air when he was falling down. It was so... It was... Oh my god. I swear I'm good at this game. <laughs> Check my last Let's Play. <laughs> 11,000. Yeah, it was me. I wasn't doing a, a computer-assisted run. Tool-assisted run, that's what it is. TAS. TAS. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Have you heard of those? I, 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 the only thing I know about stuff like that is um, I know a lot about people speedrunning and they'll kind of like piece together their favorite, like their best ofs almost through editing. But that, That's kind of how it's done. I mean, that's, that's, that's another way of... Whoa, disappeared. That's another way of doing it where if they, they do a, a good run of one part of it... And then they use that score to add to another good part of run. And I know that there's a good movie, King of Kong, which is a really cool movie about speedrunning yes. Donkey Kong. But I mean, I think that's pretty typical kind of. And then I also I watch a lot of stuff online too, like Zelda's oh Ocarina of Time has been like speedrun to death. Yes, and there's a really and good. It doesn't even resemble a, a game. It's like it's just not. executing graphical glitches and stuff. It is. It's it's hard to even like understand what's going on unless you know the games intimately. And there's like people playing like Japanese versions of it. This yes. seems like a cooler one to speedrun or to like have a world record on because it feels like you have a talent in this. I mean, this is. <laughs> I shouldn't say that there's not talent to speedrunning. Oh like, God, there it's is. It's insane, but it. But this Damn feels it. so much more pure, man. I it like is. this. It's. It's hard it's, to like it's, fake it. You almost? can't take it away from someone, you know. No, and uh, it's like an old school arcade kind of game. It's like there's no glitches. Sometimes there's glitches. Yeah. Actually, there's two types of speed running. There's, um, there is what is it called? No glitch. No glitch. That's that's totally right. I'll see. He's he's on board. Man. Yeah. No glitch, and then and then. There is... I'm um, like full completion. Yeah, 100% ones, or there's percent any, which is percent, which means you can finish it any way you want. You don't have to do every level. Yeah. Where all you have to do is make it to the end, but you have to do without like glitching it out. You have to properly finish levels and not go through walls and things like that. And the, the King of Kong was like pure score. Absolutely. Um, it's it's uh, I... creatively edited, let's say. <laughs> but uh, ever since Billy Mitchell's um, Fall from Grace, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's more representative of who Billy Mitchell actually is. Because everybody used to say, "Oh, Billy Mitchell, he's he's not really like that." It was edited to make him like really out to be a kind of a bad guy. And yeah, they needed an antagonist for their movie. They did, mm -hmm. but he actually is not a super good good, um, dude. good dude at playing games he was a, proved to be a cheater he was using um emulators yeah instead of the actual arcade boards so that was not a good thing for him so he's done <laughs> they, pulled, <laughs> they pulled all of his records oh man and is which is a shame because he's actually a really good player uh, you like, have to really be really good you can't fake it he did live scores right and he played live he's really good but he wanted to be the best, and to be the best is 
pretty damn hard. Well, to be the best at anything is is a, sort of almost a sad thing. You have to sacrifice so much, and there's no yes. guarantee that those sacrifices will mean <laughs> that you will be the best or yeah. you'll be happy you'll be when fifth you do it. And be nobody. Like you know, first is the only oh, one who gets recognized. We're getting right? an update. They, he said he pulled their million, his million plus score. Yeah, pulled all of his scores, every score, because they they thought, well, if he cheats at this, how can we trust any of his scores? To be to be honest, and of course, people have far surpassed his scores since then, so it's oh. almost irrelevant. But it's it's still, you know, it's it's history that they have to keep straight. And I and I agree. We we said any percent speed runs with glitches is fun <laughs> Those to watch. Are They're fun, very to watch. cool. I almost like watching the uh, breakdowns later for people where they'll go explain like why yes. these things work. And I and, did and, you watch that channel I recommended to you? I think I did because we were talking about speed running. Which one and, was it? Uh, oh, it's got oh. a weird name. But just look up s speed running. It's like, oh, I can't remember the guy's name. But he does that. Yeah. He shows it's like a history of speed running, running of the, this game, or speed running of, of this level, and he goes through from the first scores. He talks through all of the ways that the glitches happen, and why they work that way, and it's it's brilliant. It's really really good, and and he is a speedrunner himself, obviously. I mean, you have to know what you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> it's just like that's tough when you go into an empty area and there's no room because you're only you just, jumping a little bit high when yeah. you when you come off a spring. That's the biggest danger. Oh, his sub million scores stands. Okay, interesting. Um, seen those oh. videos recommended? Yeah, I mean, you can probably if you have seen that channel, you probably know which ones I'm talking about. I think. Um, He's, his earlier videos are a bit a bit rough, but he gets into the swing of things like a couple videos in, and then they're all really good to watch. And his latest latest ones are really good. What are some of the best ones? Like, I really like watching. I've seen some of Golden Eye speedrunners explained, that and that's really cool because people have been pushing the Golden Eye um, <laughs> levels like insanity. Oh, yeah, and it's it's down to a science. Some of the Mario Kart ones are crazy. Oh my God! Yeah. The um, Super oh. Mario 64. Oh, that's insane. There's like a million glitches in that game. It's so fun to watch. It's funny. The N64 had a lot of really good speedrunning games, like Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Um, and then you have uh, Goldeneye, and then you have Mario. Because those are the early days, like the first gen console 3D games. So they didn't really know how to probably do um, wall collisions properly, yeah. especially in the corners. So you can slip through corners and stuff easily, and through where the the wall joins are. Ooh, good save! Oh my god! <laughs> also, like Goldeneye is the first uh, first person shooter I ever played. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's probably the first oh, of a lot of people's. Oh, zero. Yeah. And then and then uh, Unreal took over for me, man. Playing Unreal <laughs> yeah. was a big deal. Multiplayer and, uh, games, I just get crushed in them, so. That's uh, that's why I, I tend to not play them. Um, and, uh, well, the Unreal is cool because it has. Um, it was the first time I played all the variants. Like there's domination, capture the flag. Right. There's uh, there, and then you can of course there's actually Death a really match. and a really fun story mode too with different kind of creatures you can fight. Really, there's a story mode. Yeah, because you there's different teams, oh. and um, and then there's these pre there's I don't know their names. People will kill me because I don't know. But there's they almost <laughs> look like predators, like like from the predator movies, and they're the oh. toughest, and they're like the ones who are the top players. And Zahn, X A N is like the the end boss. Oh, okay. Um, if I, I remember correctly, people will probably correct me if I if I screwed up. But I I played a lot of Unreal, um, and online it's you get crushed though. Like, <laughs> yes. I was not. I yes. was by no means a, a great player, but amongst my friends, I would kick their butt because I was a nerd and didn't have. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, I was not going to the dances; I was yeah. playing in the library. The computer. <laughs> oh my god! Obviously, I need to do a lot of practice with this game. 
also you have kind of good runs you know it's almost i find yeah. you do your best run and then your worst run <laughs> it's, it's it sort of goes in like it's like a That's like it goes true. in waves i was i got my my wow. personal best and French then it was work. like 300 points <laughs> <and done. laughs> yeah it's, it's funny how that works out i think we will move on after this okay the cool next game so how many people in the chat oh. um Ordered the Retron 77. Actually, I'll explain to you what that is. I don't know if I... What is it? It sounds amazing. <laughs> just the name. I'm not I just Good name. literally... <laughs> Retron. Yeah. It's a company that makes a lot of um, retro systems ugh, that take the original cartridges. Um, they've concentrated on... Oh, my God. A lot on Nintendo and Super Nintendo because they're the... Ugh. This is embarrassing. Um, because they're the, the really popular ones nowadays. Um, so you plug in your original cartridges and, and they have HDMI output, a lot of them. So you get a really good output for old video games. Because you, you use the old ones and they're just composite output. And the new ones are HDMI output, so you get 720p. Um, so they're really... <laughs> <laughs> Retron 77, no, waiting to see it, see it first. Well, street, see it street first. Street oh, first? Um, I guess see it, that means like hold it in your hand? <laughs> I th Maybe mistyped. Um, there's been two reviews online so far of it. Um, it's a mixed bag, depending on what you're kind of going for with it. Um, it, uh... It doesn't accept all the cartridges, which is a big downside. Um, it accepts most of the original cartridges, except for, I think, three have been discovered that it doesn't take because they're too big or they're too, or they're too complicated um, because um, one, of the, one of the last games, um, big games made for the 2600 was Pitfall 2. Have you heard of Pitfall? Um, I have heard of Pitfall. Okay, yeah, it was a big, big name game. Um, it has a extra chip on the cartridge um, to help it um, do calculations outside of the um, calculations done yeah. in, in the system. So it did a lot of advanced graphics and sound. Um, so it doesn't support that, which is unfortunate. Um, it also doesn't support anything over 16K of ROM, which a bunch of really advanced homebrew games do support that. Um, so a lot of the games on my shelf behind me, I'm not going to be able to play on the Retron 77 off a cartridge, yeah. which is a big downside because games are getting more and more complicated for the 2600. I mean, more advanced, I guess, um, in terms of storage space and chips on them so anything with a dpc plus chip which is um, a coprocessor in the in the cartridge you can't you can't uh, use any of those um oh okay that's good good enough cool man. i like this game man this is a cool game it is an awesome game i've um, been addicted to it ever since thank you for making it who i know if the, if the person who makes it <laughs> sees see it this. Tomorrow. thanks man i pre this is a really cool game so i'm gonna unplug the atari box now which joystick do you want to use uh, which, for unreal tournament oh uh, let's uh, let's see the arcade one or the genesis let's try the genesis because okay. i feel like it's much closer to 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 what i'm i might struggle yeah I might, I might struggle a little bit um but i play i played unreal on playstation and on computer it's better on computer for sure of course but, everything is buddy thank you buddy so i'm just going to switch the graphics here Oh, from Amoeba Jump over to Unreal Tournament. There we go. Uh, okay. Unreal Tournament. This one is from the 15th of this month. So a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago. Uh, this one is released, so you can play this one. Um, the, the other one, the Amoeba, uh, you can't play because <laughs> it's not released. I'm sure it'll release it soon. Oh, yeah. So 
that's the music, I'm guessing, from Unreal. Do you recognize it? Or no? no, I don't. I just, it was just, <laughs> it's just seeing the Unreal logo with some 8 bit <laughs> sound. It's so it's awesome, badass. Man. I'm like, what? <laughs> player skill. Um, so we got two player. Um, oh, can we get two players going? Yep, yeah, yeah, it's two. Uh, there's Capture the Flag or Deathmatch. Let's do Deathmatch. Okay. I like it. Deathmatch is a good place to start. Uh, there's Beginners, Advanced. We're going to just stick beginners. with Beginners because there's some ad advanced moves and combinations with buttons that are oh, a little bit cool. difficult. Pick up type. Um, so we can do random pickup types. Um, single up, up. I think it just straight upgrades your weapon up, up, up one at a time. Cool. Uh, with each pickup. Double up upgrades it quite a bit at a time. Random. That sounds like fun. Random Let's do up. random. I like that. Okay. Or we can do just random random. Let's do random because okay. that, that sounds interesting. Out of ammo. I don't know what those mean. We'll find out. Let's just means. try the standard, okay. whatever that is. Uh, 10 frags, 15. Let's do 10 for okay. now. Okay. So I'll hand that to you and you can pick the map. So this is a, a kind of a top-down oh, look cool. of the maps. I'm going to try the first one. Let's okay. See. So I just hit. Okay. Yep. And then I approve it. Okay, go. great. And I approve it too? Oh, no. no. You were good. Okay, good. Sorry. There we go. Okay, we'll take this slow. So you're red, and I'm blue. Um, so the flashing thing is the pickup. Okay, cool. So that'll get you another weapon. It shows the weapon. That looks like a sniper. Sniper, yeah. So let me get the other one. Oh, so we're fighting each other. Is that how it works? Oh, Amiibo actually released days ago through Dion's website. Okay, so... Yeah, not in the forums. So you'll have to go through his website. Um, so your health is on the left. Um... So you're red, you're on the left, so you've got 100 health yeah. and one bullet of whatever you have. Okay. And I've got 13 bullets of whatever I have. Oh no, okay. And you dead. You dead! What is this going on? Oh! Sniper. Oh, that's how it's done. Yep, and you can um, telefrag somebody just by random. Ah, oh, this is the flag. So the last direction you're moving is the direction you're pointing your weapon. Oh, I That's see. That's how that works. So if you're walking left, you'll be shooting left. Walking right. So you can do... Um, Sniper. If you could do strafing... Oops. Ah! How do I counteract that? I don't know. It's a <laughs> it's vicious gun. I guess I have to just kill you. Oh, no. So what do you got? Three and three. Three and three. Wow, missile. Okay. You've got sniper. Ugh. And if you have, like, uh, a grenade launcher, don't shoot it near a wall. <laughs> oh, okay. What is... Oh, we'll find that one. Oh. I don't know what that was, but it worked. Very well. The spring. Oh. I don't know what you just had, but it was oh. short-lived. It was. <laughs> Random is cool. Yeah, you don't know what you're going to get. That one oh, shoots wow. through walls. Oh, my God. Nice. Not very powerful though. I think it's the, de the default weapon. Oh, uh, uh, uh. oh! I think there are health pickups as well. That makes I sense. I, just got, but... I feel like I'm playing Pac Man, but I'm killing people. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's no ghost. There's murder. It's just two Pac Man, just murder. Straight up murder. There are some screen flips, so he's got a little bit of work to do on that. Ooh, sticky bombs. Ah! Oh, you killed yourself too. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, the 2600 
talked directly to the television when it draws the screen. So it doesn't have like a screen buffer to draw the whole screen at once. It draws it line by line. So if you draw too many lines on the screen, ooh, missile. Oh my god, I can't believe I saw oh, I just that. killed myself <laughs> with the missile. Idiot. Oh wow. Is that the sniper? Yeah. Yep. Wow. It's deadly. It's deadly right away. Rip. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have switched over, actually. I should have kept it. Oh! What are we at? Nine and eight. Oh, God. Oh, God. Careful with that. Oh, I just got you. Good work, dude. Good yeah. work. Yep, the programmer is responsible for the vertical sync of the screen. So it can flip if they draw too many lines. Oh, wow. Yeah, which makes it very powerful the system that means you can do whatever you want on the screen but it also makes it so you have to draw exactly at the right time or things go crazy wow um so i'm just gonna read the updates to this cool oh actually um there was a news story about this in pcgamer.com um there's an Unreal Tournament demake for the Atari 2600 that you can play in your browser. They're talking about playing, because um, there's some some browser plugins that yeah. you can put any 2600 cartridge into, and they're like really compatible with a lot of stuff. So, And that's how most people are going to be able to play it. They don't have an yeah. actual 2600. Uh, let me just turn it down. It's very loud. Um, Unreal Tournament as in the 1999 multiplayer first-person shooter has been demade for a new platform. Because <laughs> I just thought about that the other day. Um, some, a lot of games are ports um, to the 2600, usually old arcade games that they wish they had as a kid that Absolutely. was converted over, but they were just too hard to make at the time. But now we have all these really good programming tools and processing chips for the 2600 that they can make. Um, the arcades into the arcade games onto the system, but this it's a 3D game, so they can't. Yeah, they have to reimagine. They can't do a port of it. Yeah, they have to totally reimagine it, but keeping the same spirit, I guess. Because in here they have mazes, they have two players, they have all the weapons. That's right. They have like all the, um, I guess, mechanics of the game, but just not the 3D. So it's still an awesome type of game. Um, has been demade for a new platform, the Atari VCS, AKA the Atari 2600, a 41 year old console. Fortunately, you don't need to have kept your Atari since 1977 to play it, as Unreal Tournament 2600 runs in an emulator or can be enjoyed right in your browser. This bleepy, clunky 2d version <laughs> of, of an, hey bad mouth in these programs. i agree with the bleepy based it, off of our soundtrack but that's it well this <laughs> this one anyway there's ones that are better <laughs> each one has a different soundtrack oh, that's a good one yep um a 2d version of unreal tournament features capture the flag and deathmatch modes can be played with a friend locally or online wow and includes cla various classic pickups and weapons like everyone's favorite, the Flak Cannon. Unreal Tournament 2600 is still in beta at the moment, but there are plans for a physical cartridge release in the future. For sure, this is getting a release. In the meantime, check it out here. Um, changes. This is in the 0604 version. Fixed screen jitter caused by badly coded VSync. A big thanks to Thomas uh, Yanks for the fix and Sumerian, which is my name online. Um, for checking beta 5. You're very welcome. Wow. Um, fixed bullets wrapping around the screen because you could shoot to the right and hit people okay. on the left, which doesn't quite yeah. work here. Um, fix the jitter caused by a cycle miscount five years ago. Mad. Uh, changes to this version. Um, added a possibility to toggle between primary and secondary weapon. Uh, set advanced skill mode. Stand still. Press and hold the trigger and push left to toggle. Oh. So you can have two weapons. Um, so you can have a, f a primary and a secondary weapon. I That's guess cool. When you do the pickup, Maybe and you're you in the primary, it'll switch your primary up, and then you switch to your secondary, and you do a pickup while you're you in your switch. Yeah. Cool. Added the colored mega logo based on seed from Garbage Ram at startup. Oh. Actually, I, I think I missed that. 
Mega logo. Your player one. I'm gonna have to. No, yeah, good yes. idea. Uh, let's see that again. Oh. I'm just pressing the button. You have to, um, you have to hold down a button when you're using a Genesis controller to tell it that you're using a Genesis that controller. That makes sense. Or actually, it doesn't work. Let's see this logo at the beginning. I think I was just fooling around with something else. There we go. Mega. That's cool. Cool. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do capture the flag Let's this time. Let's do that. I'm just gonna read the rest of these off here first. Um, added code to generate a random seed for the uninitialized RAM on startup. Fixed regression, ripper fired through walls. Uh, fixed splashes show midair when projectiles hit top boundary. Fixed unstable scan lines. There's a couple still more to get. Uh, just in time buffering, uh, playfield one. Map data saved 16 bytes of RAM. Good stuff. Uh, finally implemented something I've been thinking about for a very long time, switching between weapons. Uh, this only works in advanced skill mode by design, maybe buggy, not by design. Basically, you have two weapon slots, primary and secondary. You spawn with an enforcer, pistol, cool, in the primary slot. But whenever you pick up a new weapon, oh, your current weapon is moved to the secondary slot, uh, replacing any previous weapon in it. And you can switch back and to it by standing still, pressing and holding the trigger button, and pushing left on the joystick. Uh, in Unreal Tournament 2600, when your weapon runs out of ammo, it is replaced by another weapon, usually a less powerful one. This remains true for your primary weapon, but your secondary weapon is simply discarded and not replaced by another weapon when you empty it. Hmm. This is to balance the game. You can keep a powerful weapon in your secondary slot and switch between it and your primary weapon whenever you like or need. But you cannot keep it forever and it does not give you a second line of weapons because it's not replaced by a less powerful weapon when it's empty. Oh, oh my god. Uh, and then he gives a whole bunch of it's data about, down. about primary and secondary and what happens and when it gets replaced. And You can look up that, that in the Atari H forums. Depending on the game settings, the tactical value of the secondary slot changes. I tried to write down a couple examples, but in the end I think it's best explored while playing. The advanced mode allows player to develop their own tactics and playing style. I don't know what use you will come up with for the translocator or how you'll defeat me by well-timed jumping or which weapons you prefer to stash away. Let me know when you find out. Cool. Okay. So in this one we will... Oh, let's go down to player skill and do advanced so we can check out that dual weapon. Cool. Random. Keep it on random. Uh, uh, three flags to win. Let's get yeah. it. And then I just hit like... Yeah, the button. Yep. So, go ahead and pick another map. Let's try this. This sure. is cool. Looks good. Okay. So, I'm blue still. And so, in Sorry. this capture the flag, you can see our flags. Yeah, Mine's yeah. at the top. Yours at the bottom. So, if you were to capture my flag, you'd have to come up, get my flag, and return it back to your flag. Now... In the meantime, if I get your flag... Then I gotta kill you, return my flag. Yes, you have to do all that, and then get my flag and, re and bring it back to your base while your flag's there. I think this is where this would translate a lot better for <laughs> Atari 2600. Yeah, because you can see what's happening at all times. Okay. So, if you sit, if you stand still and just press the button, you duck. And now if you sit still and hold the button and press up, you jump. So you can jump over bullets that are coming your way. Oh, that's cool. Um, or you can duck. I found them very hard to use because the timing has to be so good on it when you're jumping or ducking. Yeah. Like, the bullets are so fast. I don't see how it's possible to do that. I don't know why your flag's flashing, but... Oh, because you are? Okay. I'm got, I've got your flag. Oh, that was a good hit. You have to got 90 points out of me. And I got a point. Okay, so you got my flag. Ah! Oh, no. Gotta kill me. Gotta uh... kill me. Two points. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, you got one there. Okay, cool. Awesome. 
Oh, my flag's back. Oh, oh, no, good. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh, almost made it. To return my flag. Yes, oh god, oh god. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, oh. you... Oh my I god. just went for it. I that was like, was a close game. You have to. Like, <laughs> there's no other option. I, I guess like, you could kill me. If yeah, you're... but I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna test this. I'll <laughs> just run. Okay. Uh, let's do that one. Um, let's see. From right, the <laughs> Harmony Auto detects the Genesis controller as a pair of paddles. But holding the button skips the paddle test. Oh. Um, if I'm right, the flashing would be because the flags are drawn as missile objects, which take on the oh, which take on the player colors. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that makes sense with the flashing. Um, but they are on different um, scan lines, so he could get around that. Maybe he'll update it in a later version, so it doesn't. Oh, you want to do this one? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I call this the owl map. It does look like an owl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the flags are on the side. Cool. Ah. Oh, ah! <laughs> Death <laughs> through the walls. Oh! I'm so... You're almost dead, I'm sure. Oh, yep. God! Give me my flag back. There we go. Okay. All you have to do is touch... Oh, if you drop the flag, all you have to do is touch it. You don't have to return it to your base. That's why. We both have the flag now, and we both have to kill each other. Oh, what was that? Oh, yes, there's a teleport. Oh, God. Oh, oh good. Nice. Dropped it right I where I wanted it. I see what's going on. Yeah, this is a better one. I think this is better than the deathmatch, a lot better. It's got a more to it. Oh, did you know you had a... I did. Yeah. You're just waiting for me. Using some tactics. Still have it. Ah! Oh. Gotta return it. There we go. You gotta kill me before I get mine back. Oh. That's fine with me. I got a point. <laughs> oh. 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 What? Ah! You've still got that. Uh, uh, step. Uh, oh, oh, I God. think you hit me once. Only got 30 life left. Oh, God. Oh, okay, good work. Good work. Nice. Oh. No, it looks like you were doing the f primary and secondary weapon switching, were you? No, I didn't. I, I just fully I committed I to whatever try was that. there. Let's just try and do yeah, that without like going after each other. Yeah, we will do. Okay, so you hold down and press left. So there's... I just got a weapon. Hold down. Press left. Oh, and it switches. Let me grab one. Okay, now I'm back to my shooter. Hold down. Press left. And now I'm back to the big gun. <gasps> ah, okay. Oh, oh snipered me like from a foot away. <laughs> oh. Oh, good work. Oh, and there's teleport. Let me show you how to use teleport. So you stop, press the button, and press down to place your marker where you want to keep your teleport. Obviously, you can't teleport with the flag, though. No, you can't. No. Oh. oh damn it. Oh, no. Oh, good time this to is... kill you. That was a good time to kill you. Nice. I need to pick up some tough tactics in this game. Wow. Oh, damn it. I got like no help. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, damn it. Oh, oh too no. late. Just a touch too late. Oh, my God. Your flag. You had it. Oh. <laughs> you should have just run. I was like, I wasn't drop gonna. Your flag. I was gonna. I was thinking, and I'm like, I will not give him <laughs> his advice. No. So all you have to do is not. Ah, oh, damn it. 
Oh my god, what do you have? I have no idea, but it's, or a, something. but it's an awesome weapon to have. One hit death. No, no, no. Oh, yes. Damn it. Yeah, I like this capture the flag better than There's than more match. to it's it? It's a lot more tactical. Yes. It's cool with random. I can see how also, too. What's going on? Maps? Oh, bug. Found bug. a bug. Oh, God. Huh. Let's see what map this is. Oh, did, oh is that because I won? Because I got... No, no, no. Maybe. But it, last time it went back back to the map screen. Cool. What do you do? You want to switch anything up? Um, let's see. I like the advanced. That's better. Yeah. Maybe the pickup types. Let's ramp up a bit instead of maybe single up. We'll yeah. That. So that it doesn't go right to the really crazy weapons right away. And the out of ammo. I'm not sure what that means. One down, two down. I don't know. Um, let's go for more flags. Just go for five flags. Cause cool. Three is pretty quick. It's very quick. I think that's yeah. Capture oh. the flag again. Yeah, capture the flag. It's, it's way a more much fun. Much better game. Yeah, let's try this. Which one do you want? Ooh, let's do that one. That's a mazy, mazy one. Okay, cool. I bet you we're gonna be. Oh, mm, that's not too bad of a path, but you do have to go right around here. Ah. Yeah, they're pretty well protected. Oh my god. Ooh, there's a screen jump. With the sticky balls. Holy, both of them. Oh, because it's one up. We're going to have the same similar weapons. Right? Yeah, we're, we're playing on random. Only thing I think about this is that if you get a score streak, like you start kicking butt. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, got it. Damn it. Ooh, oh, just in time. Oh, man. Oh, and I picked up my... Yes. Whew. Gotta step up my game. Yep. One... Oh, yeah, we're up to five, so... Oh, that oh doesn't I go see. very it's far. Got a range. Oh, boy, that one's not a good one to have. Just have to keep away from you. Oh. oh, I have that one too. Damn it. Oh, oh, got your flag back. Oh, where's my weapons? Oh, there's a good weapon. No! Nice. Good work. Three. Oh, oh. didn't know what weapon you had. Uh, oh, oh, ooh. oh, wow. I didn't know you were that low. Get the sticky bomb again. Oh. Far more nice. tactical with these one ups. Please. Yes. Way more tactical. Because you can't just get whatever. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This. <laughs> oh. Double. Double dudes. I'm scared. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Okay. Didn't help me. <laughs> Give me my flag back. No. Oh. I got like two of them though. <laughs> Laid the trap right for you. No! Those sticky bombs are really good. Short range, but they do a lot of damage. Four! Oh, oh you've got. Oh my Give my flag back. It's good oh for my god. What, oh, you shot yourself? No, I think. Just gonna make it one more. Oh. oh, good work. Wow. Okay. Shall we move on? Yeah, let's to the try last the next game. one. That's cool. Some unreal tournament. Yeah, it's pretty good translation. Oh my god, like, yeah. That's probably the best you can do for a 2D type system. Yeah, and huge thumbs tournament. up for Capture the Flag. That's yeah, the, that's, that's where it's at. That's really, really good. 
So. If you had four people, this would be very cool. How many controllers can you plug into the Atari? Is it only two? It's only two. I've, I've, I haven't heard of a four joystick adapter for it. I think technically you could do you could do a multiplexer. I know there is one for the uh, Commodore 64, which uses the same plugs. Yeah. But it plugs into a different, totally specific port for the C64. But I think there would be enough input combinations that you could make one. But it'd be a hard sell because you'd have to have the games to go along Hands with it. Down. You pretty much have to make this game and sell it with the four-player controller. Yeah, because I think four people playing this would be the ideal. Even that three would be, would be great. And then have two teams to be tactical and stuff. You could play that for hours and hours and hours. Oh, oh he says there's... A, a oh, no, I forget how it's... Suinator. There's a guy in AA who's developing a, an Atari 4 tap. Wow. There we go. Perfect. These, you have to get him together with uh, the Unreal tournament. Play yeah. Unreal with 4 tap. That's yes, worth that. Yes, that would be amazing. Um, the Atari is limited in the fact that it only has two sprites. Um, a lot of people have done multiplexing sprites where you draw them half the time. Yeah. Which would work pretty good in this game. I don't think that would be a problem because usually you're not on the same level as them. And even if you are, you can you can make it so it's it's visible. Mm -hmm. And that's, I don't know if you've ever seen the original Pac-Man for the 2600. It's very flickery. Yeah. I mean, that's a badly done one. The ones nowadays are, are a lot better done where if you're not on the same line as more than one other person, you're solid. But as soon as somebody else gets on the line, it, it starts flickers a bit. But it, so it's intelligent flickering. That's kind of I think the name yeah. for it. Um, it. This does have four paddle controllers, but this isn't a paddle game. It's not moving around in a circle or along a ledge. Those are for like um, breakout. You know the game breakout where yeah. you're hitting with paddle. Yeah, using a four-player joust game to test it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, he's got to get a get together with this guy. Yeah, because this would be unreal. <laughs> so I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. That's too bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unintentional. Okay, so let's switch it out. Um, press down the B button there. Okay, done. There we go. Okay, um, we're probably going to play with this joystick. So I'm actually going to switch it out for Mappy. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, for Mappy, I do have an exclusive release of this, I oh. think, unless Arena Foot shows me up again. It's like, oh no, that was posted on his Isn't page it? a million years ago. Oh, no, I already see. But I don't think so. Um so, so, I do so go, go down to 0627. That's today's folder. This one here, perfect. And then Mappy. So this build is from 06. Right here? Yeah. 0608. But this is an unreleased build from 0608. Uh, let me change the graphic as well. Cool. To Mappy. There we go. Starring Mappy. Okay, I get to see. The Micro Police, Goro, Big Boss, Big Boss, Big Bit. Hmm. Naughty Folk. And, uh, oh, oh no, this keeps high scores. So I have to restart. Because I have uh, a little thing called an Atari box. Oh. Pretty people can see it out there. I'm sure most of you know what the hell this is. Oh, come on. Focus, focus, focus. Let me focus. get out of there because that's, that's the problem. It oh, sees, it's, it's faces. It sees faces. It's focus. It does see faces. There we go. Okay, the Atari box. Okay, good. Um, which not only keeps high scores... You probably can't hear me too well. Let me just plug this in first. Okay. Uh, so hold down the B button. Oh, Arena says uh, we got the exclusive Mappy. <laughs> oh, Dion sent me Amoeba personally. <gasps> Dion! Okay. Let's see. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're back. We got some scores. Okay, save key found. 
Maybe. So what this what the Atari Vox Plus does is it keeps your high scores saved because there's nothing in the Atari 2600. There's no batteries for saving high scores. There's no non-volatile RAM or hard drives or anything. It's from 1977. Yeah. <laughs> so somebody came up with an idea to um, have a plug in piece of hardware into joystick port 2 um, that does have that kind of stuff so because the joystick ports not only read input it can write out to it which wow. is thank goodness they did that because they didn't need to do that I, there's probably some old stuff like that uh, that does use it but um, yeah so when you get a high score in a game you, you can save it. it and it also that has the bonus of also doing uh, voice synthesis as well so you can program it into your game to say things wow yeah i don't this game doesn't have that but there are some other games that have that okay you're mappy the mouse at the top okay and those two guys are roaming around um oh I, this shit. that's fine that's all there is and you have to collect things all the treasure that they see there's the television their computer uh floppy disk oh my god okay. oh no i have it on uh, I have it on where you can't die. <laughs> That's uh, why you're passing through them. Okay. That's fine. Output is required for the keypad controllers to work. Really? They have output? There's no buttons. It's just left and right. I gotta run away from these guys? Yep. And you collect all those... Um, oh, God. Okay. Did the right thing. <laughs> is that right? Um, you have to collect the painting, the telephone, or the radio. Yeah, radio. Okay. Computer. Yep. You got the hang of it. Pretty good. Yeah, this, uh, oh Lord Monkus, well, welcome to the stream. Hey, dude. Uh, a new person. Um, yeah, this port is amazing. It has got wow, okay, um, unbelievable um, music by Iasposta. Um, oh, what is going on? Okay, oh, okay, there we go. Oh, to I'm get done. yeah, to get off a trampoline, you just press left or right when you're level with the floor. Awesome, I, and I gotta dodge all these guys. I'm just yeah, like, and you use the so like what happens here? Like there's just uh, while you're on the trampoline, you can't die. I see. That's your safe spot. It's kind of safe. Now, if you watch the trampolines when you're bouncing on them, they change color because they eventually break. I see. Once you get off them, they self repair. That may okay. That changes things. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. I see. I see. <laughs> so you have to kind of get in, get off. Get off. Get um, in, get off. I'm seeing these tactics. And what are these uh, flashy things? Um, okay. Hey, you got a high score. You're on hey. the board. E. Oh, you're lucky. You have an, a name Arr. with an A. That's just really a little far in the. Good. And they're all in a row, and you don't have to go back yeah. and forth. Okay. So you see the television and all those things. You have to pick those up. Yeah. So and once you get all of those, you win the level. I and see. And then you go on to the next level. Okay. So I I gotta I gotta get that guy. Yeah. There you go. Now in the early levels, there's not too many cats. They're they're manageable, but they start building up. There you go. Okay. There is a tiny bit of a safe area. Um, when you're getting on and off the trampolines, oh. but it only lasts for a tiny bit. I'm starting to, I'm seeing the tactics here. This is a cool game. This is it's com very this is, complicated. I've never played anything like this before. <laughs> now, this was originally an arcade game. Oh, okay. Now oh. the doors. Now we're going to move on to how the doors work. Okay. Um, you, there is a button in the game. I forgot to open and close doors. Um, now you can open and close them at any distance. Yeah, get out of there. There you go. I'm seeing some tactics. I'm getting this. Yeah. Now the flashing doors send out uh, like a beam, a death beam to the cats, and they send it out in the doorknob direction. So go there, stand right there, yeah. and then there you go. Oh, so I it see. It kills the cats, and it sends it out in, in the direction of the doorknob. And that clears any cat that's on that oh, level. I Almost. Was doing so well. There you go. You get that computer. It might be the last one. I think that's the last one. There you oh, go. Okay, sick. And that's just round one. There's sound Maybe. on? No, there's sound. Uh, I'll turn it up. Just the last game. Unreal Tournament sound is very loud. Sorry, dudes. 
Oh, there's a thing going on here. <laughs> outside? There's a discussion outside happening. Oh no, I mean, um... <laughs> I mean, there's like this, uh... Oh, on the screen something? Yeah, there, I, I, there was just, uh, it was just a new level. I was, oh, I was yeah. trying to figure out this new thing. Okay, but, I gotta be more tactical. Okay. This isn't... So, the, see the flashing one? Yeah. That You get more points for that because... Oh, it's gonna break. One more. Oh, oh, I see. So, it turns green, yellow, red. Red is... It's done. You can't jump on it. Um, oh, there's Ayasposta, who did the sound for it <laughs> <laughs> for this game. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. He's complaining that he can't hear He's the like, sound. He's like, I want to hear my job, man. Where's the sound? Hey, I, I get you. Yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah, we're both film people. Um, Erlen is a writer-director. That's right. And I am a producer-editor. Um, I would say writer-director. Yeah, that's, that's the totally right. right. That's okay. definitely the right We're not too in conflict there. It works <laughs> no. well. I do a lot of any job because I work in film. <laughs> Hand so me I'll the camera, I'll film. Hand me yeah. footage. Oh, I'll... we can stick with Aaron. Oh. Okay. oh, good. It remembers. Oh, that's sweet. Other games don't remember. That's annoying. Um, okay, now watch the doors while I'm playing. Because there's a couple other things you can do with the doors. So if I get the that and I go there and get that. I see. You get the two in the row, two in a row. That's where you get max points. I'm not too worried about points. So I'm not super great at this game. So I'm just going to get whatever. See that cat knocked himself out? They're yeah. pretty stupid. If they open a closed door, oh, I um, see. they knock themselves out if their doorknob is facing them. Um, so watch. I'll, I'll do the flashing door again. Yeah, it so kills it gets that them. cat too. So it gets the cats all the way across. Now watch this door. He's gonna come. Oh no, he's not. Oh, he's like moved off. Ah, push me right off. <laughs> oh, well. I'll go to the next level. Yeah, the music's really close to the arcade version. He did a bang up job. Oh, this is a, good there, on you, I suppose. To. There was an arcade version of this. I mean, that yes. should, should seem so. Yeah, pretty much every game back. Oop. Oop. Oh, good. Let's do that. Good work. Oh, so you can... It keeps going, even while they're off the screen. Um, so you can use the doors to your advantage um, to knock out cats. Watch this. There. See? If oh, that's cool. You can open the doors. You you're, you're uh, have telekinesis for some reason. Oh, I was dumb. I should have yeah. waited for him to get off on a level. Yeah, so you can... Force open, <laughs> force push a door open. I was so dumb when I played it. I didn't, I didn't think that they were even doors. I was like, this is a hard oh, game. <laughs> everything's locked. What a maze. I was like, what do we do? <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, it would be difficult. Um, yeah, so you can knock over cats and close the doors on them as well. I, oh, I opened that one for him. I'm still it's faster tight. than the cats, thank goodness. People were complaining last time that I didn't know what I was doing. See, he knocked himself out. <laughs> so I did a little research on the game so that I'm not completely incompetent. Yeah, I don't know how it plays ah. game if I didn't get to watch you or you didn't break it down Still not for that me. Good. Where's the last thing? Must be on the right hand side. Yeah, I think so. Oh, there it is, way up there. Get out of there, cats. So the cats are like, they will go onto the level you're on. Like, there's no doubt. So, if you're standing on a level, they'll jump off on that level. Yeah. So, you have to make sure you're not going to stay on a on a level. Yeah. My eight-year-old self would have, had, have shit, shit. What? Would have shit. Damn it. I almost wasted time on this. There's no time to waste on this one. Yeah, Lord Monkus wishes he had this in the 80s. Oh, God, yeah. This would have sold a million copies. Well, there's also something special well, about playing millions. something in the arcade <laughs> and having that limitation of if you can only play with like quarters. Yes. And <laughs> and then when you you all you dream about is is like I have this every single day. <laughs> and, and then like anything in life, you have it every day, and you're like, oh, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, it's not as special. But, but but there's but that's special and pretty. Cool. I wasted time. Yeah, you were. I did this earlier time. today on the emulator, yeah? and, I, and I finished that. You have to do it perfectly. You can't do any misbounces or anything. 
but I was not paying attention. Now this one is a lot more difficult because yeah, there, because the the stages are really long. The platforms. Yeah, and it looks like there's doors and everything too. Lots of doors. Okay, I, I, this is I have good. Have a bit better of an idea. Oh, oh, sorry. There you go. Yeah. the button. It doesn't scroll automatically. Or does it? Oh, it does. Oh, it's painfully slow. Okay, there's something to update. <laughs> it's painfully slow. If you hold, hold it, usually things go like a lot faster. Yeah. This is like very slow if you hold it. Okay. Sorry. Oh, no, I started no, it for you. I don't mind. Um, deliberately p breaking the trampolines is how you get good times on the bonuses. Yes. Yeah. So you don't have to wait for it to break through. Oh, you made it. Just in time. Oh my god. It's fine. <laughs> you survived. This is, this is getting scary. It's a hectic game. It's not a, like, sitting around type of Watching game. Watching you play, though, was definitely gave me oh, some information. Don't do that. Oh, see, okay. When you're timed exactly the same on a trampoline as a cat... They're gonna join you, and then... They have lightning reflexes they see you get off like right now don't uh, oh you're see, lucky <laughs> don't do that thing that you just did oh no oh and also that uh red cat hides behind things Ooh, you're gonna have to do it anyway there we go oh yeah try oh, not to see. jump on at the same time too i see okay yeah. that's a big deal it's tough um i had some beginner's luck before and also the graphics are unbelievably oh, good on this game. Okay, I wait for him to get off. Okay, you have to get off now, because it's going to break. That's another thing. You have to watch the trampolines. There you got both cats. Awesome. Yes, life is Cleared good. Cleared it right out. Boom, and I think that's... Nice, good one. Jumping off to the right when it t on, on okay. top of a cat is safer than the left. Thanks for the tip. Okay. That's a great tip. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. There you go. Oh god. No. Somehow I survived that. <laughs> that should not have been survival. Um, let's just do this and because something tells me that I'm going to have to come back. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Life Bonus. I'm gonna do one of these doors, and we're gonna die. Whoa! <gasps> You're still faster than the cat, so oh, God. still good. One more to go. Ooh, no, I should not have done it. I should no, should have gone to the right. That's if right. Listen to my tips, man. Yep. Okay. Now a lot of early games on the 2600 didn't have enough processor power to do games this detailed. You can see the mouse, the detail on the mouse, like the eyes, are just one single pixel line. Um, the processor wasn't fast enough to draw things yeah. that quickly. Um, so it was double. So you just have to get all the balloons. There's a lot of tactics to this. You have to do it perfectly. So Oh, I see. It's okay if you don't. Or you're going to die because that's going to break. That next one is. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. You have to kind of plan it out and... And jump through the the little openings perfectly. Yeah. I guess six hundred is. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Because it has to do the processing every single line and plan it out. So now that there's coprocessors on the cartridges, it can prepare each line uh, in time. So there's lots of time to do the processing. Um, not lots, but a little bit more. Enough that you can do all the graphics on one line. Oh, God. So you can see there's a mouse and different colored, you know, player two and lots of... Here you go. Oh, you probably have to enter your score. Oh, yeah, you just keep going. No, 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 I'm not even on the scoreboard anymore. No. So let's ramp it up to... Actually, let's play another round of standard. Okay. And then we'll go to advanced. Oh no, he was on top, so that's okay. I get to choose first. Yeah, so if he's following you like that... See, there, oh, that wow. was tactical, right? Yeah. Because I closed the door, 
and he opens the door and hits himself with the doorknob because they're dumb. Or you can do that. You can close the door on them, and it forces them... Uh, go, 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 go! Wow. Oh, he jumped up first there. Um, to be fair, lots of games back in the day had single line resolutions, just not well updating. Oh, true. They didn't like skip a line. Um, they had they had single line resolution. Um, like they drew every line. Oh, that was so dumb. I've got so much respect for people who are good at this game. This is a, <laughs> it is. Hard. This is a hell of a game. Yeah, this is probably the game I'm worst at so far out of every game I've played on this show. <laughs> There's a it's lot really of stuff hard. going on. Like, this would take a lot of a lot of practice. Oh yeah. Lots of cats. And there's things off screen. Yeah. A lot of Atari games are single screen games where everything you need to know is right on that screen. Come on. Ah. Wow. Oh, I opened a I accidentally opened another door. Yeah, you did a good job. Oops. Uh yeah, killed some cats. That works. <laughs> oh. Let's go up there. Have you seen Hurry or the coin? No, we seem to have completed it in time. Yeah, if you take too long on a level, there... Oh. It says Hurry on the screen and things speed up. Oh. And then if you take even longer, there's a coin, a killer coin that comes straight for it you. It starts to kill you? Yeah, it's not a good time. It is a very bad time when the coin starts coming for you. A lot of... Because they're, a lot of these games are conversions from... See, that's a tactic. You can oh, break bouncing through. on the walls. Oh, and that's probably where he was saying, like, tactically it's breaking down. Because then you can bounce, okay. break through certain ones. I can do this. This is how you do this. There you go. That's to speed up that level. And then you do it again in the next section over here. I should be able to win this. As I don't mess up. Oh yeah. What's that balloon at the bottom? Is that That's the... the big points balloon. Yay! Oh, good work. Awesome. I guess he's actually in the balloon. He popped out <laughs> of it. It's the Goro balloon. Absolutely love the bonus music. Yes, right. You yeah. have. I supposed to thank. Uh, thank for that. He's right above you in the chat. <laughs> wow, I can see. Yeah, bonus level is what you need to get some decent points in this game. Yeah. Ugh. 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 Too many cats. Yeah, this is a in real much life. There's never too many cats, but in this, there's too many cats. <laughs> too many cats. So you can close the doors to help. Mitigate the cat problem. <laughs> okay, should be fine. Hey, okay. Yeah, Keep crushing, level four. dude. Huh, <sighs> getting better. Getting better. Oh, I supposed to give him a little. This looks the same. It's the same level. Why? Did... Huh. That's okay. Oh, no cats, please. Because you can't see what's coming. How are you supposed? Oh. Oh, that was close. Wow. Uh, that was perfect, though. Yeah, so far so good. There's still one more thing here. And they're all up top. Yeah, there we go. There's some tactics happening. Yeah, no hurry or coin yet. No. Come on. Oh, I like this music. This is cool music. And really, like, old rag... Ah, oh. Ragtimey music. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, it sounds like it's on an old player piano. And those piano rolls. Oh, I think I have only one thing left to get. Ooh, no cats, please. Oh, looks like he smacked himself in the face. Oh, it hit me off. Okay, and I'm done. Hey, good work. <sighs> Doing the best I've ever done. As you should after you play a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
seems like the same level. It does look like the same level. I bet you you maybe got to beat it like three times or something like that. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Oh, they both smack themselves, so... Yeah, obviously you have to do it three times for the bonus level here. No. Ah! 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 There's too many cats! Too many, man. I don't know if this is the last thing. I think it that looks is, like yeah. it is. Oh! oh! That was so close! Hurry or coin. Yeah, we haven't hit the hurry or coin. That's really weird. Guess we're clearing it out pretty quick. <laughs> we're getting killed too fast. Well, you can't get through there. Yeah, getting killed too fast. That's the other possibility. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Okay. How am I going to get up there? You got this. Uh, okay, good. Level 7. Okay, this should be a bonus round. Yep. Yes, okay. good. Second bonus round. Very similar. Looks exactly similar, so I should be able to do this as well. Oh no! It's not! No, I'm dead. I'm not gonna get it. That was one too many. One too many. Is it trying to get perfect? Oh, they replaced one of the balloons that were up top left, so it's possible I may make it. No. Oh, no. I too many mess-ups. Oh, no. If you take too long to finish, hurry will float across the screen. Two more cats come out, and the music speeds up. So it's the threat of two more cats coming out when you take too long. Round eight. Now it is... Oh, there's a bell. What does that do? Ooh. What? What happened? Whoa. It knocked both of us off, but it didn't knock him out. Oh. There's a lot of cats happening here now. Because they follow you, so if you're like, run away to the other side of the screen. Oh, there's a lot of... Let's try that. Oh, good. Work. That's good. So, if you get them to follow you for a while, I bet I can't go up there and it'll knock me out. That bell. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, well, there's lots left to get. Ugh. Okay, let's do this. This is where you, as an Atari player, really <laughs> can shine. It really shows the difference. There we go. Between. Well, yeah, a lot of the games are very similar back then. There's like lots of intense things to do. Bell drops and stuns cats. Ah, oh, damn it. That was it. But I got a pretty decent score this time. I think you're you're almost close to the top. I think you're second like 40, or forty thousand was the top. We'll maybe. see. How'd I do? Yeah. yeah. JWC. <laughs> there we go. Level nine. That's good. So let you want to do hard. You want to do the easy one. Now and I'll do the hard one. Yes. Okay. Actually, oh I no. Reset it. That's okay. This is made by Champ Games. So let me read out what has changed. And you can play. What has changed since the last time. Oh, okay. shit. I'm already... Since the last time we... Nope. Here we go. So the latest update. This is the latest update, 0606. This is unreleased. I don't know if he'll release this one or just skip this one and go to another one. Um... Oh, yeah, did I mention that uh, with Unreal Tournament 2600 oh. <laughs> that it was going to support two button joysticks? I don't know if I did, but there you go. Um, oh, JWC's the uh, the creator of this port. Oh, John, John Champeau. Ah, wow. yeah, well, makes sense that he makes, gets a good score. That makes complete sense. I mean, sense. if you're going to do That's completely cool. port a game, you must at least love that game and play it a lot and therefore be really good at it. I'll have to beat his score. I don't know if I can. It's just so tough. Okay, he f um, the latest update. Um, uh, this was information was sent to me by uh, John Champeau. 
I was talking with him today about this. Uh, he fixed a bug that would cause the game to crash if there's too many objects on the screen. That's a good Yeah, bug that's fix. an important bug. I didn't encounter that last time, but um, lots of people have been playing this. Uh, fixed a bug that would cause the cats to move really slow on advanced difficulty, starting with level 16. Oh, oh my god. Um, level 16. But there is a built-in um, test function yeah. in this game where you can switch it so you can't die from the cats for testing purposes. So I can't imagine. I'm sure somebody can get to level 16 on advanced, but not me. That's for sure. Fixed a bug that would not save your default initials on standard mode to save key. Oh, that's helpful. Thank you. It's very useful. Yeah, because you don't have to want to punch those in every time. Initials were saved for your score, just not your default ones that were used to populate your initials on your next high score after the game is powered off. Oh, wow. Oh. oh, that's... Oh, that's cool. So, he's now programmed it, programmed it so that it will remember the initials you typed in even after you turn off the game and go back to it. That's awesome. That's really good. Uh, graphics update to the roof patterns and colors. Yeah, I must say that the graphics in on the backgrounds is really, really good for what they have to work with on the oh, Atari man. 2600. Because you pretty much have two... Oh. <laughs> Two graphics. I gotta wait for that guy. Oh. Yeah, and then slam open, smack open the door and hit him. You know, you basically have two um, sprites that you can make really detailed graphics with, and then the rest of it is playfield graphics, which are four wide and harder to change colors and chunkier and a little bit harder to do detailed work with. But he's come up with a really good design for the roof of the house and the colors and alternating it, alternating oh. the colors every second line so we can get more detailed play field. Very nice. Added the Goro Red Cat animation to the high score screen after a high score is entered. Oh, we didn't notice that. But we'll see. Actually, I, th I don't we may think, not see. I, I think <laughs> if I'm playing, there's a very, very good chance we will not see. Oh, no. But that's okay. I don't but mind. But this is the beginner's um, scoreboard. This, oh, this isn't even the advantage. <laughs> so it may be easier to get a higher score, or the scores are lower or higher. We'll see. I don't see. know, it might be different. I love that people who are watching me play this game played it in like the <laughs> 80s. Like the <laughs> yep. certified experts are like playing it for the first time. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, a 1983 game. 81. Maybe an 81 game. Played on a 1977 system. Yeah? But made in 2018. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Streaming on the internet. Yeah, in real time. Yeah, you would just blow people's minds in. in 1970. Well, in 81, if this... Stanley oh. Kubrick's 2001 doesn't even imagine this is possible. No, it doesn't. <laughs> He's like, you can phone your kid from space. They it's... did that very well. <laughs> that's, that's how it feels like, um, talking to somebody, like, long distance on Skype a little bit. There's this delay. Of course, obviously, from an orbital Perspe um, perspective, it's going to be a bit of a delay. And he knew how long that was going to be. There you go. Um, and I suppose to says he owns the arcade cabinet for Mappy. So, yeah, I can see why he's on the programming team. Oh my god, so how does this... 83, so I was right at first. I feel like... There you go. Oh... oh. Last chance. There you go. Okay, I see what's going on. Doing better. There you go. Oh god. Oh, and and oh. this update. Um, let's see. Uh, there's been a few small changes that I haven't posted on the dev thread if you're interested in playing the latest and greatest. I always am interested in playing the latest and greatest version on the stream. Um, all the devs out there and programmers um, always love playing um, games that are in progress. Let's see. Intermittent graphical glitch for trampolines on level 4 through 6. So that's fixed. That's good. Graphical Whoa. glitch with the last trampoline on the Whoa, bonus level. It's deadly, eh? Oh well, not God. good. I'm like landing in their home. <laughs> oh, Nobody recommends got that. Like Nobody. Three of them following you. 
Yeah, right in. Okay, okay. At least you got them following you. You know what's gonna happen? No, oh, wrong, wrong way! You have to watch the doorknobs, which way the doorknobs oh, okay, are facing. Okay. But it was a good strategy. Miraculously, I'm doing, uh, not terribly. Doing fine. Yes, come on. Oh, okay. Did it! Awesome. Level four. Um, fixed a bug where hitting a cat with a door would sometimes give 50 points multiple times. Wow. Don't fix that bug. <laughs> yeah, give, now we have give, less me, points. give me that bug, man. That bug. <laughs> he's hiding. Yeah, when you you can go get him when he's hiding. Really? You can go okay, kill him. Good. Okay, I'll go. But he's not hiding anymore. And he hides for like milliseconds. <laughs> not kill him, knock him out. Nobody get nobody dies in this game. Oh, see he's hiding the bastard. Um okay. Hey! You get to see him. There's, there he is. He's running around. Okay. Goro. Goro's at the top. The red cat. Um, I want my name. I want reverted my name. the second roof back to the original to better match the other three. It's not using color mixing yeah, like the previous gonna, version. Turn around. Come on. Uh, fixed a graphical glitch on the oh, high God. score screen where the vertical walls were the wrong color after scrolling in. Uh, good luck tonight. I'll j try to join if I can. Um, so it doesn't look like he made it, unfortunately, but he'll be able to see it. Okay. Oh, you're still playing on standard mode. Am I? Okay. Did really good for standard. Okay, there you go. You give it a go now. Oh, no. Novice. No. No, standard, I think. Yeah, you were on standard. Let's give it a go. Oh, you can switch. Oh, that's awesome. So the scores are the same, no matter if you're on novice, standard, or advanced. So it's easier to get a high score if you're playing the novice. Okay, so I'm gonna do advanced. Did that switch to advanced? I don't think it did. We'll see. It didn't. I, I couldn't. Go. Okay, good. Now I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm excited to see this advanced. It has probably faster cats and more cats. The true way to play Mappy. Yes, yeah, it's probably like arcade level Mappy. That's how you lose all your quarters. <laughs> yes. Mappy. Yeah, I don't think I would have ever played this in the arcade because I would just be waste. Yeah, like like you said, wasting my quarters. Especially if it's oh, there's hiding. No, I came out. Yeah, you have to get on and off right away. Wait till I'm the last seeing, second. I'm for understanding doing that. this doorknob situation. Yeah. Hello, playing Mappy. There's Tanya at the door. Come say hi on the camera. There you go. <laughs> James is crushing me at this game. Oh, it's, and I'm it's, terrible at it's this. Not even, it's, it's not even a competition. So the first game, I was like, I stand a chance. But... Yeah, you did very well See, in the first I one. I haven't, I feel like... Have you I played this one? Weird. No, I haven't. You I'm can. just going to sit very Yeah, very yeah. Good. Yeah, I uh, I haven't played this one. It is it is a much more complex game oh. on this screen compared oh, yeah. to a lot of the other Atari Twenty Six Hundred. This is a one of the most complex games. Mm. Um, probably Draconian. It's rivaled by because mm. there's a lot of stuff going on on Draconian. But this is yeah, this is. Did I just see someone pick up like a Mona Lisa picture? Yeah, that's right. That's it, James. It that's is a, it is amazing stealing. that it is being able it, to be discerned it, as it, a Mona it's, Lisa. It's the black hair yep. of, of the art. <laughs> yeah, the graphics on this game are unbelievable yeah. how good how, they what are. What they've done, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so. Can you check? I will. <laughs> <laughs> There's some cat disturbance yes. upstairs yes. or somewhere. Well, have fun. Thank you. It may not be our cats. Okay. This should be no different. <laughs> Angry cats. I don't know yeah, what happened losing there. Their mind out there. <laughs> so how does this work? Is there a limited number of jumps that you get, or time? There's limited time. There's does a musical work? tune that plays twice through. Oh, and that's how you discern the. Yeah, and it kind of wraps up. Because I was looking for like a time or something. Yeah, it's all music based. You're kicking butt. Yep, gonna do it. Yay. Here we go. Time to spare. Draconian and Mappy use the same CDF coprocessor. Well, that makes a lot of sense, because they're both about the same intensity. Um, so there's a lot of things on the same line, especially in this game. It's like five, six cats on the same line sometimes. It's out of control. How well it handles it, and how well it's like discernible that there's still cats. 
And I think they limit the amount of mouse flicker. Oh, good. He's facing the right direction. There, he's hiding. Oh, no. He hides for a very short period of time. Now, draw all the cats out. And I think that's the last one. There we go. Hey, good work. Not bad for the advanced What's mode. Draconian? Is that a fun game? That must be. Awesome. I love I'm sure. Have you done Draconian. an episode on Draconian? Many. Yep. Um, I have it on um, cartridge. If you want to pull it out from the shelf above. Okay. I'm dead. Oh, it's a bit buried, but it's in there somewhere. It's green. You can move the oh, I see stacked it. carts out. Oh, I see it. It's a space shooter. Draconian. And it's um based on an arcade game called Bosconian. Um, if somebody from the 80s looked at that and, and, and knew the limitations of the 2600 they'd be like you'd never it's ever, not possible ever be able to make this game on the 2600 it's yeah the rip yeah it's too complex um like it's unbelievably complex like, like all yeah. the stuff going on the screen at the same time oh my god but um yeah i did a marathon um episode where i played every single level how was I've, that? That must have been I fun. I took three and a half hours to play every single level. Um, took a long time. Um, I was involved in the level design of this game. Really? So I have three levels, I think. And I'm dead. Oh, no. It's I just delayed you, too long. It's just because <laughs> you were telling us about your level design. Yeah, because there was a level contest um, for Draconian. Wow. And there was internet voting, and they liked my design. And um, he included one of the designs just because he liked it, too. Oh, 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 God, he's right there with me. Um, I think I'll just... Nope, that was a... Ooh. Oh, you die! Oh. If it breaks? Yeah, if it breaks. Even if it's that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Sudanator, I remember your username from the level contest. <laughs> That's me! This is before I even started the show. Wow. I was doing that. Who's O? QJ. That's interesting. It just kind of takes... I was, I was trying to find my name, and it, I ran out of time. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wrong way. I don't, I don't know if it's the game or this jo joystick. It's difficult to... It's very difficult. And I was trying to do it quickly, and I was like, that's an embarrassing motion. I need to... <laughs> I'm, like, I don't, I'm like, I don't want to do this on camera. I'm just going gonna, gonna to go with... Below the camera level. OQJ like... or whatever. <laughs> OQJ. What? Yeah, it takes its time, which is good. I think I was complaining about that before. Yeah, yeah, you said that's, uh, that is something to change up, guys. Yeah, and... and, and um, I mean, John, not... John was saying, no, it's, it's fine. It's lots of time. But I don't know. Maybe it's the joystick. I think maybe it's the joystick here that's difficult. I think up and down on this is... Oh, you can control it. No, it's fine. It's just the combination of this joystick and the entering I don't think is working super awesome. So I did pretty good there, actually. Yeah. Well, this is cool. You can control what you're seeing. <laughs> yes. Go to that screen. You can go to the um, high scores. Yeah, so this... This, this yeah. game feels way more sophisticated than any of the others. Not not to take away from any of the others. I don't yeah. mean to, you know, you well, don't this have one to... is like a team effort. Like, yeah. there's somebody on, usually on these advanced games, there's somebody on the programming, somebody else on the graphics, and somebody else on the music. Like, Iisposta is on the music. Yeah, which and thank you, Iisposta. Yeah. I'm all, up job. I've never heard this music before, and I'm like addicted to it now. I'm gonna be walking home <laughs> with this tune in my head. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're supposed to did uh, the the voice in this game. In, in this game? Yeah. Wow. This has built-in voice samples. It doesn't even use that external one. Like it's mind blowing oh how good, how complex this game is. Um, so that's a fun one. So I think oh eight fifty nine. Okay, We're cool. done. I wrapped it up pretty good.
And he's, he just said he checked, uh, he voted for two of your levels. So Thank thanks to him so much. that your levels got That's on right. uh, Draconian, which is good news. Well, that was great. Oh, and, and for those people who didn't see, I know you haven't seen this yet, probably. This is my prize. Um, third place level um, design. Ooh. Didn't come in first or second, but I'm very happy because the top three. Well, you got something, time. which is yeah. the coolest part. I'm just happy to get something. And a free copy of the game. I mean, that's, that's a big deal. Too. So let's show this for the people who have not seen. Since we're talking about Draconian. Wow. Let's see if it recognizes that. Face. I'll just get, there we go. I'll just no, get out of there. We're good. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that'll help a lot. It doesn't... There we go. And it's uh, 3D printed. Um, this is like the boss, the big boss, green boss that you have to kill. Or multiple ones of those. And, uh, yeah. Very, very nice. Um, last year, I fortunately didn't make it down to the Portland mm -hmm. Retro Gaming Expo where he was able, able to give it out personally. Yeah. And he's not going to be here this year, the guy who programmed the the game, um, Daryl Spice Jr. But I will. But I meet him, met him two years before that, so it was all good. Um, so that's what we do on this show. Thanks for having me, man. This has <laughs> been no great. Problem. I, th I liked all three games for different reasons. I think the first yes. game is just addictive. I just wanted to, I, that's the it's one I would simple. probably keep playing. Yeah. I, I probably an hour would blink by and I would oh still gosh. be trying to beat my score. And as soon as I found out you had 11,000, I was like, that's my goal. <laughs> gotta, gotta beat that one. Yeah. As soon as, um, Sudanator posts his high score in the forums, I don't know if I could even get that high. That's yeah, like no, that's insane, marathon dude. levels high. Like 60,000? Oh my god. Um, but maybe I'll give it another attempt because with all these games I try and do an episode where I try and do the best. Yeah, why or not? Or finish the game. Well, you're wall jumping ninja, <laughs> man. I've seen yeah, that. the world record on wall jump ninja. That's that's an accomplishment. <laughs> that's That's pretty good. Um, oh, he already posted it. There already we go. Did, dude. Yeah, dude, I I will not beat you on that. I just don't see myself doing it. <laughs> but maybe maybe I'll dedicate a whole show. Yeah, and you you could probably get a on. personal best. You could probably see yeah. if you can crack twenty thousand. Yeah, I'll probably go for personal best. But he's always evolving the game. He'll keep adding to it, so yeah. those scores will be like null and void each time. And he you have to do it. try a new bit. Yeah. And Unreal is just cool to see it translated into this different yes. medium and capture the flag infinitely better. <laughs> yes, way um, better than Deathmatch. But I if think. we had maybe four people going, Deathmatch would Death be really fun. Really good, because then you're not just straight going after each other, just pressing bat button mashing time. Yeah. Because other people could sneak up on you, shoot a missile behind you. Yeah. Nice. He's got to team up with the four-person um, joystick um, hardware. That would be awesome. Going and four people would be great and this game is just just a really advanced very hard very challenging like yeah but a a decent challenge level it's not like oh, I, I give up it's too hard i like can I was, see how with this one you could just play it for like after the first time you play the second time's going to be really fun the third time's gonna be really fun and then it'll just be a standard thing because yeah. I, I the learning curve is rough it is there's a lot of happening it's like when you first drive in a car and there's like there's pedestrians, there's cars, <laughs> there's stop signs, like, there's Ooh. red lights, there's like <laughs> there's lanes you gotta stay in, there's like a thousand things coming at once. But once you like, okay, I understand this the the, the, the traffic lights now. Okay, I, I can see the pedestrians, they're fine, they're on the sidewalks, they're not running in front of my car. It's like this. It's like, okay, I understand the trampolines. Okay, and, and I understand how they work. And the doors, okay, I'm getting the doors now. And it feels like, um, I mean, I'm, I'm terrible because I haven't played Atari. The only things I know yeah. about Atari, the main one is just the E.T. game being like the worst <laughs> game of all time. That's yeah. like my understanding. And so I've seen clips of that. So as soon as I saw Unreal, I was like, oh, this looks like what I imagined an Atari game would be like. But right. this does not look like an Atari game. I'm, no. I don't know if this that's the case. If this, that's a homebrew thing. It is. But, but this feels well, like I'm, I'm playing a, like a retro arcade game in the arcade, which is amazing yes, it is towards the end of the atari like very very end there were games that got a little more more advanced like pitfall 2 it had multi-channel music and scrolling screens and stuff like that and really detailed graphics because of the the chip he put in it that was the only game ever in the original run to have a, a, a processor chip on it so that one was very advanced there was like Double Dragon, yeah. if you can imagine, came out for the really? Atari 2600. 
and that had really detailed screens. It had really nice screens, so that one was fairly advanced. But for most of the arcade ports, they were really scaled down, like yeah. super, super basic. It's like blocks going after other blocks, but, you know, a little bit better than that. They have a little design, but colors were simple, like very straightforward colors, not nice multicolored things like we that. got rainbow uh, <laughs> yeah. title. And that was the thing to be take advantage of in the Atari. It had the most number of colors for anything, like computer systems, um, consoles for years and years and years. It had 128 colors you could choose from. Wow. And you could change the color every line if you wanted to. Like, a home home computers didn't have that for a very long time till like the Amiga wow. in the mid 80s or like, probably a, probably another Atari system like a home computer had something like that um, yeah Solaris there, there's some more advanced games in terms of um, switching screens multi-screen yeah. space games where it has like heads up display almost Star Wars did it like Star Wars the arcade game did a really conver good conversion it's hit, mi hit and miss it's, it's cool to go backwards, though. I don't know if I love a lot of new developments in games. They seem very casual now. Yeah. And I really like the fact that you have something where the, the level is challenging. Like, you have yes. to have skill to play this game. Like, yes. a lot of games now, I'm like, I don't think you need skill. Like, an Elder Scroll game, you don't need skill to play. Yeah. You just hang out. You can't die in a lot of them. Like, yeah. you literally cannot die. You, you just respawn. Get, oh, respawn two minutes ago. That's about it. Not even penalties, some of them. Like, it's like, oh, you have all your weapons. You can all just save before any major thing and go. It's just cool That's to right. play. This is feels way more yeah. like a real game. You know? It's like a threat. A real threat to dying on here. It's like, oh, no, I can't die because then it's all over. <laughs> all my work is over, and it's super frustrating. Yeah. But that's the end, I think um thanks for having me yeah no problem let me just look at the schedule for friday friday's games i can't remember i think i still have one more to go for those people who will be able to join me for fridays uh one second yeah that I click around that is a good point and it depends on on, on what you're into yeah because there are some there are some very cool games on steam on oh my god yeah on, uh, uh, he said stream. I stream. thought he meant Steam. <laughs> he might Steam. mean Steam. I don't know. But I uh, know you're right. I mean, one one game that I like a lot is called The Forest. That's a really cool game no, that's out right that now. One. That's there's that's a million games, but but um, but there's lots. There's there lots are. of games out there. But and, and there's retro type like eight bit ish games that have come back a lot. Yeah. Um, have risen up on PS4 and um, like on Steam as well. And people love those games. And they are not like this where you die. They usually do let you keep repeating the level over again. Um, so on the 29th, which is Friday, we're going to play Fall Down. Um, Carrot Kingdom, which is a work in progress. And a to-be-determined game. Oh. Um, so I don't know. It probably will be a work in progress, but I still have to find it. Maybe it's a new game. I don't know. A new version of High Score Screen Burn Slow Burn. I probably won't revisit that game because it's not really a game. <laughs> you just let it sit on the screen and it randomly moves around and maybe collects points once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very strange game. But you can like move the pieces that it's going to pick up and make beepy sounds. It's super weird. But I don't think we'll play that again. F again, Fall Down is so fun. Oh my god, it's such a good game. It's a two-player game, and you're, like, diving wow. through holes and trying not to go too fast and not trying not to go off the screen. And there's pickups, and you can bump each other. And it's kind of like two-player joust, but you're on platforms. Wow. I don't know. It's really, really good. Um, so if anybody out there has any suggestions, you can leave it in the Atari Age forum or here or on YouTube or in Instagram or all the places. Um yeah, so subscribe to Insta subscribe to Instagram. Yeah, subscribe to Instagram. Yeah. Um, subscribe <laughs> subscribe to YouTube or like this channel. Oh, and it talks. Awesome. That's great. Um, because I put these streams up after usually the next day, so you can catch them if you don't catch them live. 
uh, and, and you know, like my Instagram and all that stuff. And you can see what's happening. Um, and I'm trying to keep up what I'm going to be playing in the future. Um, on the next Wednesday, I'm going to be playing Anguna, uh, part three of hopefully three. I'll be able to finish that off. Apshai. Oh, it's so basic right now. I don't think it's, it's a little too early to play Apshai. It's, I can't wait for it to develop more. Um, but it's a little too early for me, I think. Um, cause it's, you just kill people and go to the next, unless I'm missing something. You just kill some people, go to the next room and repeat forever. Um, but it is, it's going to shape up to be very cool. That's one of my favorite games in C64, Temple of Apshai. Or, what's the other one? Something of Apshai. Um, so, Anguna next Wednesday, part three of three. I should be able to finish that off. And then, uh, then the Friday, Crazy Balloon. And then, uh, To Be Determined, To Be Determined. And then A-Star, a full playthrough. Um... I don't know if you want to come back. For sure, man. Wednesday. I'll come down. That would be awesome. fun. I don't. I don't do too much on Wednesdays. So. Oh, that's perfect timing then. Yeah, A Star. You don't, you want to play through a full game? I would love to play through a full game. How do you like puzzle games? I love puzzle games. Oh, that, that would be a very good, good puzzle game. And then uh, that will be really interesting. Um. Then we have. Then I have a very special show, and I do need suggestions for this one. This is on uh, July thirteenth. Ooh. Uh, ooh, I may or may not, ooh, I may have to postpone that one. But it is an upcoming show because I may be in the studio doing some mixing <laughs> <laughs> of my film. Which is a good thing. Uh, it's a very good thing, <laughs> but it may not fall on that day. But I think I have a concert that night too. Oh, okay. So but I'm... we can do it earlier in the day. Yeah, yeah. Um, is that a Friday? I don't know. That show is games, um, homebrew games that got li very little attention. Like, hardly anybody gave feedback on them. They didn't get a lot of posts on Atari Age. People were not talking about them very much. And I want to play, like, four or five of them and maybe figure out why they didn't get a lot of attention. Like, what? why did they fail to yeah. get to capture people, people's imagination? So, it is a Friday? Okay. That's... Okay. That... I probably will be here. That's still in the mixing... Uh, week yeah so it may be postponed but that's still going to be an episode whether or not it happens that sounds like a cool episode i like the sounds of that yeah because uh, it's a little bit of thought like we play these games like we play a lot of really good games because there's a lot of good games out there but we don't pay attention to a lot of the bad games yeah i mean but like anything some... there's a sample and there's gonna be yeah, the some, range some outliers that you know <laughs> people think is an awesome idea and they put their heart and soul into it, and they're like, this is an awesome game. I like playing this game. Why doesn't everyone else like my game? Um, so I picked out two so far. Um, Pickle, uh, Dragon Racer, Trials of the Worm, and I probably need two or three. Where's my pancake? That's, that's a really good suggestion, actually. Thank you for that one. Can you uh, message me if I don't remember that somewhere? Ice Posta? Pickle is one. <laughs> yes, Pickle is one. That is a interesting game. Um, I got uh, messaged by the creator of Pickle, and that kind of set me off thinking about that. Yeah. He's, he said a lot of people aren't giving me any feedback. They're not saying anything. They probably don't want to don't want to say that it's bad because it's not doesn't feel good. Well, you want to yeah, you want to be positive, especially yeah. for like a niche like this, you know. Yeah, it's you want to be supportive and you know it's, give it's, good it's feedback. People giving their heart and souls and like their free time to put <laughs> yes. this stuff together. You don't nobody's wanna... making money. No, <laughs> the the group of some people try and make money. They're like, uh, yeah, the first ten that I'm gonna write numbers on are two hundred dollars a copy, and then it goes down from there. And I don't really like that too much. Yeah, but no. um, a lot of people sell these for like. Anywhere from like $25 for just the cartridge up to like $60, $65 for the box and a bunch of bonus stuff. And they're doing it barely at cost. Maybe they make 5 bucks or yeah, something. Yeah, it's their thing. That's like what and they, they put do. in like years, wow. years of work to, to get this here. Like some of, some of these games that we're playing, four or five years Wow. into it. Like the Thank Unreal you. Tournament, he started that in 2013. 
Holy cow. <laughs> it didn't seem to take a lot of time off, but it's it, that's the process. These people work jobs. This isn't their job. Yeah, you don't you can't you don't just get up Monday, <laughs> yeah. and do 12 hours Walk on in. your homebrew and then Tuesday's another 12 hours. Yeah, no, there's no money to be made. Way. So great. Oh, lots of suggestions. Yeah, some new that's suggestions. awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Um for all those suggestions, Arena Foot. He Arena Foot, he's um the keeper of the homebrew list. Yeah? He watches for every homebrew game that comes out and writes down who made it, when it came out, the name of it, how big it is, like in kilobytes. He keeps all, where you can download it from. And he's got a list of every homebrew game ever made. Arena might have just become my new hero. <laughs> yeah. It's a the, the, full-time. The homebrew hero, man. Yeah. Who's writing the book? I don't remember. That's who's him. Writing... That's he's writing the so book it makes as sense, well. Right? Oh, man. Yep. Get this book. Thank you. Um, so this is 34, 34 games he talks about. It's really good. But I'm, wow. um, and uh, Mappy's in here. I just saw it as I flipped really I'm quick through. Breaking it down. Um, anyway, it is in here, and um, yeah, he's he's the knowledgeable one. So he gives me a lot of information. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's that's it. Um, oh, and at the end of the month, on the twenty fifth, I'm going to be playing Draconian. Oh. Hardcore. Um, I think what, that is a Wednesday. What's what's the what is the hardcore setting compared well, to say not that? hardcore, but it's for a tournament. It's like oh, for a high score tournament. Um, I did enter my score for the last um, game, which was uh, Cobra Super Cobra Arcade, yeah. and I came in fourth or fifth, depending. June eighth was the last mappy. Okay. Um, when I last played it, I don't know what he's referring to. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna try for like the high score on that, and I'm cool. not bad at that game, so I think I have a chance. You've got to go at it. Super Cobra Arcade is hella hard. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> a side-scrolling shooter through caves and stuff. Um, but I didn't do too bad. I came in fourth, and I probably could have done a little better if I played it longer. But I only have so many so many hours in the day. Yeah. But that's it. Um, I keep saying that, but this is for reals. Um, so we'll see you on Friday. Um, thanks for tuning in. Nice to meet you all. Yeah, so you'll probably see him again on oh, another Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday is my good day. Awesome. Or another Friday, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Do you um, do stuff on Fridays at 2? Generally not. Okay, I might be able to do Fridays as so every well. Every second Friday I have an opening. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I'll let you know. Sounds good. So thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, to Sudanator, I suppose to Arena Foot. That's uh, Lord Monkus who um, chimes in here and there. Good night. Good night, everyone. Uh, and also, I, thanks for letting us know. Mappy is 1983. I, we didn't say we didn't mention. I read it and I was like, yeah. thank you for letting us know when it was. Because because James oh. said 81. Yeah, Arena Foot 39, 23, level nine. Was that mine? I think I did make it up. Sometimes yeah. he types my scores. Yeah, thanks, Arena. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, Lord, I think that was everybody who talked. Uh, no, Dan. Dan AVC was yeah, in Dan here as well. Benjamin Rivers. Yeah, was so thanks for hanging out, everyone. Making it a good stream and a good introduction for yeah. him to, to hang around. To thank you so much. So we'll um, see you uh, on Friday in two days. Uh, we'll be on the air at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern time. See you then. Bye-bye.